So, in tonight's episode of Are You Ready, Ruby, are you ready to fuck around and find out? Different microphones, different volumes, I do apologise. Yeah, yeah, just start up blowing my ears out. Uh, not the usual way I like to be blown, but yes, I'm ready. Uh oh. Oh boy. I heard that. I heard all of that. You should all be ashamed. Why? The Minecraft noise or what Ruby said? Minecraft noise. Okay. Oh yeah, the, the both were pretty embarrassing. Yeah, anyone that spent five minutes with the Dungeon of the Mad Mage guys knows how bad it could be. Like, Jesus Christ. There's PCs with relationships in there. Oh god. Ew. Some of them it's, it's a lot it's a lot lower now. <laughs> <laughs> True. E even the interspecies ones have managed to vanish. One of them died, the other one moved on, one of them's an intellect devourer, has been left in a city on her own. Fun. There too would be Malik, but at least he didn't have a case of the down bad hornies. Oh, that's, that's all they have. Anyway, ba -ba 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 let's get on with it. I'll smell my pen. It's a good smelling pen. I also smell really good and fresh. Link is up if anybody needs it, let me know. Until then, oh, what happened last time? A lot of things happened last time. So much so that I have managed to forget most of it, barring the fact that you found a dragon orb that had been broken. I, we went do you want me to do, you want me to do the recap? I can do a bit of a recap. Do you know what? Do it together. Tell me a story for a change. Go on, mummy. Go oh, on, daddy. Uh, All right. We got sent on a quest by the shopkeeper. Uh, to go kill a thing, and then we <laughs> traveled there, and nothing happened on the roads, because funny dice roll. Uh, then we killed the thing in one turn, found the dragon orb, and made our way back. Okay, let me stop you there, alright? <laughs> Bad at telling stories, alright? You missed, like, you missed, you just recapped maybe the last encounter of this session, and like, ten minutes before that. Yes, because I forgot the rest. Uh, then why would you say you could do the recap I mean, if you had like five words to say? Because I don't remember what else happened. So how much do I remember? Why would you volunteer? Thing? All right. <laughs> Begin the last session. You know, we're making it our way home. Not home, but to the city of Hearts Hollow. You know, we just did a mission for Grandit. You know, grab it. Grandit, whatever his fucking name is, right? And we go there and he's like, what the fuck? You guys are back. How? I don't know you guys actually did what you did. So you wait here a bit. But, you know, since you're here, you know, I'll give you some for your troubles. And additionally, you know, um, let me rewind a little bit too, because I'll remind a little bit for Renard, actually. Uh, down, we're supposed to clear up this crate for Gravit. He doesn't even go down know there, there is. What? He doesn't even know who that is. Oh, so. Um, do you remember that Garrett looking person that we rescued from the manicores? Yeah. That, like, that woman? Last thing yeah, she led us to Hearts Hollow, which is this town, very rich in gems. We sold a bunch of stuff there, a bunch of our loots. Money was split. Did anyone write down how much money we gave Renard? I uh, Renard has it in his sheet. It's yeah, like, put it in his sheet. Like, yeah, you get 1,740 gold, my guy. Yeah, um, 1, you are rolling. Yeah, oh, rolling wow. gold. So, he all hmm. offers us magical items. We all he, he does this weird thing where he's like, oh, look at this cool weapon. And then he's like, oh, look at this cool armor. Look at this cool bow. But then he's like, I'm not going to tell you what they do. You're just going to give me all your money. And then you'll figure it out. And for some reason, we all thought that was a great idea. And it worked out in our favor. When in D&D does that ever work out? Right? <laughs> Honest question. And so he was like, oh, you know, we got missions. If you want to get more magical items. And we're like, you know, we're here anyway. And we're, you know, we're going to go fight a big dick swinging dragon. We have to, you know, do some. We got to gear up a bit. So... We all get like a sort of quest. We went on Luna's quest to get a bow, I think. 
But after that, now we got, I think, a few other minor quests to do, all leading up to a big bad boy quest. Um, I got a moonsicle out of it. Yeah, that was a, it was a moonsicle. Yeah, it, and then another thing, too, um, Exodus got told a tidbit of information or some information about... Oh, yeah, no, they went to Luna's Quest, killed the... Um, remember when we went to the Shadowfell in the Tower of Silence? Mm, and we went to the Shadowfell, sure. and there was that huge, like, undead, like... You watch the first live-action Scooby-Doo movie at the very end when <laughs> Scrappy-Doo turns into a giant monster. It was that but undead. And we fight one in the Shadowfell. We fought another one here. I mean, you smited it two times and basically killed it instantly. I don't know who was playing your character then, but they were doing a pretty good job. You know what I'm just saying. But, you know, there was still smoke in the area. And, you know, we're just leaving. And I was just like, what the f There shouldn't be smoke here. There what the fuck? I'm tired of where's the smoke machine and he finds the smoke machine which is actually a broken dragon orb an orb of dragon kind right. controlling biswax and so mm -hmm. we take it back and he's like oh I could use this as a fog machine I could just set this down when I walk into a room and just you know be awesome but then he hears a little bit you know from the uh the dwarves that are working on the you know the dragon lance and you know push comes to stuff he gave it to them you know, for boosting the potential dragons, but this landed more questions that I have to talk to Bernard about. But that's the recap. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Ayo. Ah, oh, he he went in there hard with beautiful. that one. <laughs> Gotta keep the man up to date. Gotta keep him up to date. That was a great addition to my beautiful recap. <laughs> 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 the main story versus the DLC. <laughs> what game do you like that? Shit happened specifically. <laughs> <laughs> One of these is the previously on Dragon Ball Z, and the other one's that episode they throw in the middle of the arc to recap the previous 40 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Both are equally as valid. Yeah, as you saw. Oh yeah, I also, I bought new music, Ruby's heard a lot of it. It's great music, it's beautiful music. We may hear oh. more of it, there's some good combat I'm music. very sorry, I have muted, music muted most of the time because I got a headache. I will cry! <laughs> oh, I'm muted. I need my ambience. But yeah. I'm bombs. You I'm bombs. once more enter into Hearts Hollow, where the <clears throat> dwarves who are working upon thy lance of the dragon say to you that they know a way in order to create this but they require items touched by the gods as it were the work you have done so far you are all very much aware that the man who has given you this work is aware that you have done everything that you are meant to as well because I am a master of expedition if nothing else and then I've also got these um, things here I'm going to throw a fate dealers deck onto Clifton attuned to it uh, and for completing that I believe he was offering us either a shield or a dagger the boomerang shield or a crimson something dagger the there was, no, yeah, there was, there was four quests, three quests, one for each item, and then one quest at the end that was like his big old, like, MacGuffin quest, maybe. I was, I was saying, uh, we should have the shield for Renard. I will read the shield out, as Renard wasn't here for it. So, might as well let you know the entirety of it. Um, here we go, I was actually given a thing for it now. Um, I forgot, I can just actually post it on here into chat for you. Right, shield. Boomerang. Yes, I'm a fucking genius. Mm-hmm. Ruby, I don't like your sarcasm. 
the one time I agree <laughs> with it, it's an issue. And there you go, in chat. Yeah, you, you, you have some, some moments, you know. Ruby, you hurt my feelings. I thought no, we were friends. Not. I mean, what am I doing wrong this time? <laughs> Yeah, I need to get the shield, but I I do think that maybe the the dagger that in the shield. Really, Jalen? I'm not seeing anything. You're not seeing it written in chat. The Discord? No. No. Um. I can't get on in. Oh, you can't get in? No, it's just all I see is the splash screen. Is it not giving the login detail now? Nope. Uh, go ahead. I'd say go ahead and try using a new browser just now, and I will paste your screenshot of it in Discord. I already pasted it. Oh. Well, thank you to my lovely assistant. Mm hmm. Damn. The flavor on this boomerang shield is bad. Well, what am I, Captain America now? <laughs> no, because I, Captain America would have been cooler, but no, as reading it, the shield doesn't, like, bounce off the walls and stuff. You just throw it at someone and it teleports back to you, like the teleporting dagger. Like a returning axe, a returning weapon. Yeah. Mm, it's yeah, just okay. literally a returning weapon, but also a shield. <clears throat> However, oh, that, that for Bernard is also a... Not to dissuade you. But it is, by all other accounts, a standard shield in comparison to what you wield. Really? Hmm. Plus As, one shield. Yeah, so it would drop your AC. But in return, you can make a melee. You can make a ranged weapon attack for one d six, no mod, just straight up doing. Which I, I've already shared my gripe about, you know. But, what can we do? I think I'll stick with my other, sh my green shield. I appreciate the, the thought. Okay, so that leaves us with a dagger for Exodus. Because he wanted it. Try not to sound any more bitter. Just a little bit. You said what? I said try not to sound any more bitter. <laughs> Oh no! I was. Uh, I'm literally just playing Mike. <laughs> we can hear. <laughs> I I can't turn it down anymore. <laughs> you you think you think I would be like you know everything that he wants, but no. But no. Instead, he's as the he goes to the creation of a Swedish man to get, you know, his UK D and D fix. Bullshit. That's so scary. um. Check in. Uh, you are level seven, ain't you? Yes. Uh, we are level seven, yes. No, you're not. You're level eight. <gasps> oh, oh, we leveled up. Yeah. Um. Hey, oh. I'll, I'll read you the terms and conditions of leveling up, just so you are aware. This is the terms and conditions by the book. Characters gain a level when they complete three adventures in the location. One if they accomplish an extraordinary feat and one when they find the city of lost names. Um, well, you only have one more thing to complete. And let's let's be honest here, I'm going to class Tomo-chan as an extraordinary feat of fucking patience for all of us. You know what, that's, that's six sessions. <laughs> that was what? That was six sessions of pain all round. <laughs> I still can't get the log on. Fucking weird, man. Oh, I'm gonna look at this one more, cause let me see. Let me see if this changes. Cause like, I have been wondering for the longest time why I didn't take the light cantrip. Cause I'm pretty sure I did. And now it's you, it's there. You always had the light cantrip. Then why? Oh my god! It wasn't on my sheet. Oh my god! You know, you know I do that. Right. But yeah. Hey, I have a second, fourth level spell. <laughs> Okay, let me go prepare some uh, prepare some spells. Right, let's, let's prepare let's some spells too for you. Wonderful displays. 
I'm gonna just wait until Bane casts obliterate health bar. <laughs> oh, it's so like cute you think that's gonna attack. happen. You know, <laughs> it's so cute. I just was so happy to have Fame back, but now he kind of wants Revel back. <laughs> it's getting kind of annoying. Can we, can we, can we, can we just be like, eh, can we toss him back at another one of those gray dudes? Just see what happens. Like another one. Anybody got any, uh, got any, uh, Revel, Revel's being, Revel's, uh, busy being, uh, a lich in another universe. All right. Yeah. Has there, any, uh, has, there any, has there been any um, suggestions from the rest of the party that uh, uh, useful cleric abilities that Clifton should try to pick up if he can? Nope. Useful the cleric? ones that the ones that bring us back to life usually are, the best are always awesome. <laughs> Nasty but word. Let me see what else I have that I oh for that that I don't have. Okay, there's death ward. Um, there's but you know. Okay. I will so, yeah, Considering I'm, how often we get diseased in this party, or of purity might actually have no, some use. No, 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 For how often we get fucking cursed in this party, we <laughs> run into curses like every- it's either we get- Oh yeah, I got remove curse right here, it's a fresh day. We- every uh, day just remove- there's like- <clears throat> Before- i come to think about it, right? We've been cursed, I think, a solid seven or eight times now. Do you have Aura of Fatality? Yeah, that's, that's just gonna have to be like a constant yeah. presence in my spell slot, and my spell's prepared now, we'll move first. Yeah, Which, do, you, um, do, you, do you have Aura of Vitality? You said Aura, aura of Vitality? Yeah. Yeah, I, I should have that. I think I just I, I, th I think more. it should be easy if you got it prepared. Oh, oh yeah. prepared? Yeah, um, because that's just... Not, I had used to, I, I turned it off before the dungeon. Um, it's bone injection healing. Yeah, over vitality is saying it's action here. No, it's bonus action here. Uh, you pop it as an action, and then for a minute, oh, oh, bonus you action, somebody every gets turn, healed. Yeah, you can heal. Okay, two that's nice to have. Um, I I, I don't yeah. know why I, I took that away. I'll put uh that back now. Um, um I love the also, process of a level up with this. Question. Yeah, can I use our fidelity like cast like use it while well shaped? I don't think you can cast spells with well shape, can you? No, no, but like, I cast a spell at wild shape and then the spell stays up. Like, I can concentrate on spells while, um, while wild shaped. Like, I've done that with a large reduce. You are gonna make me look at this one Can here. I use the Art of Vitality <laughs> pot? Because that's just a, a, basically a passive effect. You're gonna make me visit the DM Sage Grove, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm. I'm reading here. You can use a bonus action to cause one K. Okay. Nothing specifically says no. Cool. Then That's I, the weird part. Not like it says you can use not, a bonus action. talking about casting spells in wild shit? No, using no, something like Aura of Vitality. Well, then, what's like aura of vitality, well, shape into a squirrel, and then start giving people, um, you know, start giving people the the health. Like, by all accounts, I see that as a transference. So, because it's a transference, say you transfer, say you transform into a squirrel, it's the squirrel's bonus action, you know? Yeah. Like, Which it has. It says it says it's like verbal component, but I think the only verbal component of aura vitality is okay. oh there we go. There's how to is upon casting. Yeah. But another another way to work work this too, right? Is if you look at polymorph, right? Like I have a warlock. I cast polymorph on myself. I'm still concentrating on polymorph mm -hmm. while it's casted on myself. Right, and then in addition, like if you look at like shape changers, says you know you can shape change, and even you know if the creature can you know do the specific things that the spell can do, but that's only you know shape change. I think maybe some druids. Right, so I'll look it up and get back to you on it. The way the way I would look at it is aura vitality has a verbal component. If you're in a silence, if you're in a silenced dome, can you still use that bonus action to heal? If yes, then technically speaking, if well shape, then yes, because you know 
Polar bears aren't known for speaking English very good. They are, however, really good at eating the English. But, you know. Uh, How many polar bears have eaten Englishmen in history? I don't know. Probably well, a bit. Uh, I would like to add to that count. <laughs> well, it's, it's more like, you know, polar bears are... If you live in the Arctic, if you're like one of the Arctic expeditioners, or you live in Greenland, during the winter when you go out, even if you're crossing the road to like someone else's little hut, you have to take a shotgun with you in case of polar bear. <laughs> Endangered species, <laughs> and you're like, if I see it, I gotta shoot it. All these conservation efforts and just some guy with a double barrel buckshot, like, well, yep. Well, the difference is like, in, in the grand scheme of things, one polar bear getting shot for the survival of a person, like, yeah, that is kind of shitty. Fuck the person. However, like, it is more that the, the conservation efforts, that there's a large scale decline of population. <laughs> and a lot of people kill the polar bear. You just murder the fuck out of every polar bear that you oh. see. Leave the polar bear alone. No, because <laughs> I, you shouldn't let the man die. You should let the companies who pollute and cause the polar bears to drift this way. Are we murdering dead. polar bears? No. <laughs> I mean, if it's a choice between, if anyone should be murdered for the, you know, it shouldn't be the man or the polar bear. Renard, uh, where did you put your, um, where did you put your ESI, just out of curiosity, just so I know? I put it into charisma. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Just had to check, uh, so... so I get two extra spells instead of one. E and you are... <laughs> <laughs> Charisma modifier plus half your paladin level rounded down. Three, four, five, six, seven spells. Yeah. Was it five? No, I'm at seven. So, now that we are all leveled up, it's only taken us 37 minutes. I love leveling up. <laughs> <laughs> An hour in. <laughs> leveled up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> You awake once more here in Hearts Holloway. Nice, vibrant morning. You've been told everything that is required to do the things that you must do, which we spoke about 30 minutes ago. Before it, does anyone else wish to be doing anything in this lovely, lush, brisk, cold morning here in the oh. Can you northern wastes? I forgot where we were and I was going to call it the Blasted Lands. Can you tell me who gave me this, uh, these cards? Ah, uh, you found the cards in oh, okay. uh, Blue Maw Cave. Blue Maw, what was called? Blue yeah, Maw Cave. Yeah, Blue Maw Cave. Okay. okay. They, give, um, they give you, pl if you read it, they'll give you plus one to your spell saves. In DC, mm -hmm. you see DC. Also, you can draw a card as an action and roll a hit die and add it to the dex bonus of the number rolled. One creature you see within 30 foot takes radiant damage or regains hit points of your choice. So you burn a hit die and you can heal someone with a card. Mm. And, you know, it's just, you know, a game of 52 pick up at that point. I'd like to also, do... um, what else? What, what, I'm kind of out of the loop of what we need to do. What else do I need to do in order to get that wonderful, lovely bow? Well, that one there then comes at the uh, <laughs> the extent of there's a lot to do. Didn't we right. come today? I wanted to know like, like what, what's on the itinerary that I missed from last session. Didn't a few we... more missions for Grandit to get magical items. Okay, essentially, okay. is the last thing we've talked about. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, just say uh, good morning and ask if anybody needs any uh, healing, curse removal, or uh, of, of anything of the sort. Um, that the curse removal is a service that you need to give is unbelievable. Hey, listen, he's wor Exodus is fine with it for now. He's just a little bit under the weather. Just, you sure? Let's see. got some spell slots. Yeah, just. just you know, I need the shield for now. I don't have another shield. Oh, uh, yeah. So I can't, you know, I have to wait until I get the other daggers. Can we so go over the fact sure. that you're not proficient with bows? 
Who? Yeah. The, the Who, me? Yes. Yeah, are you professional that's, about that's, it? That's that's a good question. Um, I don't know why the weapon? bow came out to me. Oh, well, I, I don't know why I asked for the bow. I'm no, you're not. Bow, just not actual bows. Is it one yeah, of those no. you're proficient with while you're wielding it? Uh, yeah. being proficient with it just lets you add your proficiency bonus. I was, I was, I was gonna ask Scottish if I could do the other thing we talked about. I don't know if that does a wrench in anything, but I didn't. But if it does, I was just gonna take the bow. If there's anybody who can use a bow and be proficient with it, it's Fane. <laughs> but well, I'm not using a take the bow. Got a bow. I'm not. I punch real good. That's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> punch real good. That is his thing. Uh, now, I now I punch even better because I can punch more. I also want to stand at the end of Renard's bed and watch him sleep until he wakes up at some point. I uh, just got really creepy, really fucking quick. Am I right? <laughs> uh, not creepy at all. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'll let you know right now, RJ. All right. I did make a boo boo and realized after that session that you were no longer prof you weren't proficient in bows and that's why I gave you that instead because I made a whoopsie because you know I don't admit to my mistakes I just you know juggle them about and then gaslight you that I never made them to begin with. Oh I, oh <laughs> yeah that, that that would have fully worked. I was just scared like I don't know what a deck of many things looks like. I just oh don't if, know if, why it read, if it read if it read many things trust me. If I put a deck in many things, I'd be shuffling a deck of cards that look an awful lot like this. Yeah, and the motherfucker did exactly uh, that while we were looking at the other deck. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? You literally did that. <laughs> like, oh, if, I, if I was to do this, I would be shuffling a deck of cards like I did the other time. The fuck Auntie Anne's doesn't even sell something about us, Nicky. Huh? Auntie Anne's doesn't sell. Um. No. But eventually, once everyone happens, you know, if Bernard didn't wake up yet, uh, Exus would be like, Bernard, Bernard. And you sort of realize, not so, but from an outside perspective, you sort of realize that him, like, sneaking up on Bernard and watching him sleep wasn't like a, oh, I'm gonna murder him. It was like a child going, like, to a parent's bedroom and just staring at them, waiting for them to wake up, asking them to make up. breakfast. This was great. He's like, oh, Bernard. Right Eyes fly open. You're what awake. Are you How? Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. What can I do for you? Well, you sit. You would sit down on the bed, kind of like on his legs a little bit, just like clipping, just a little bit. You know, it's making it even even more uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 Not on purpose, it's just how it plays out. <laughs> but <laughs> you, if you want to tell us something, you know, you know, it ain't it ain't too late. <laughs> oh. uh, so he's just like he looks at him, he says He looks he looks to him. He says, I forget that I uh the dwarves got back to me. About the uh the the dragon lands. Okay together and it was said that you know an item blessed or touched by a god would be needed and while I did provide the dragon orb the broken dragon orb of I think dragon friendship but regardless it, it, it was a bit but we still need an item touched by god and I'm just thinking you know we sort of dangle up his own necklace that was blessed by the gods and point to his own and say I mean I'm not gonna be the one wielding the pike you are, I don't, pikes aren't my thing. It, you know, so I think you should maybe, you know, put your amulet for it. I missed that. You want me to put my amulet? Right, because we need an item touched by the gods. Gotcha. And then, you know, after Fane died, we got an item touched by the gods. So I thought that you know, maybe that might work, and I wanted to know if you were interested in trying that out or going to see the dwarves about that. Um, yeah, absolutely. Sweet. Let's see, Leia, let's see them about that. If All they right. can help us get what we need, then 
I will Man, your match is just really hard. You stand out, you rub his, are you... Are you sleeping in armor? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> gonna walk out of the room. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, yep. um... Before we leave, like, this place, I wanted to go to the shopkeeper and ask if he had one, uh, one more thing. Yeah, and as Renard and Exodus make their way towards the camp of the Calaman army, you make your way down towards Little Shop. Just gonna keep it on this map, just now you enter, see Grandit sitting, just flicking, you know, putting the deck of cards once more and kind of shuffle them around, play his own little game of solitaire. Looks at you. Hello! Hi. What can I do for you? Either. Um, I was wondering if any of in the people who came by with the army, uh, who, you know, sold things to you, might have picked up some new wares, specifically any sets of armor of the Splint variety? <sighs> well, yeah, yeah, Look at that. I can do that. E easy enough. Uh, checking that Splint is better than Chain, yeah. Remember, your DM doesn't actually know his armors. <laughs> not it's armor. marginally. I, I, I am just. I'm taking whatever I can get. RJ, check what. How, check how much money you have on your sheet, right quick. One thousand six hundred and seven. Okay, I'm just Ooh. making sure you know. One electrum. Yeah, I, I was just not going to mention that. I saw it. But I, was <laughs> no. big. I was not going to mention it. Okay. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> oh shit, if I have that... Eh, I, I, I might have some about that, I might have some how much plate is. But I want to hear this fun answer first. See, you can... Dust off a nice older set. Ah, oh, sure. I'll do you 190 since you've been such generous customers. One ninety. Yeah, that's that's a good price. Um, you wouldn't happen to have any uh, you wouldn't happen to be able to remind me um what your uh, going rate for plate is, would you? Oh, I shall. Looks and. Oh, look at here. Cool. I had to check your sheet for something. Oh. You only just meet the requirements. <laughs> I was going to say something you couldn't use. Uh, but yeah, 15 strength is what's required for it. So you kind of look. Yeah. Roots around and. Uh, I got this old set from. Well, a while ago. Scavenged and found. It's probably worth uh, one point eight. Again, because generous. So, quick question. Yep. Um, no, not one point eight. From the six thousand gold he got last session. Hmm? I counted that Melina would get a split of a thousand, but could we redistribute that? Everybody gets 200. So everybody gets what? So every, instead of Melano getting a thousand gold of like the the the, the, the pool to get her money, uh, everybody else would get 200 extra. And Melano wouldn't get like anything. I know this feels. I know this is like technically. Yep. Right, I just feel wrong, but like. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why I'm asking. Like, <laughs> like how do we how do we deal with that? Or do we give a character a thousand gold and then send it off? I wouldn't necessarily need it. She would be, um, but I would take it. She would be the willing type, I would say, for certain to give it away. That's that's the vibe I got from her character was like a bit too generous. Yeah. So everybody asked, add like what was that? Two hundred two sheets. Yes, two hundred. Um, the so I assume the six thousand gold has been redistributed. So everybody that does there we go twelve hundred. Also means I could take it out of the uh, party pod. Ruby showed up and immediately oh, really? started doing admin, John. It was so weird. 
I mean, super <laughs> scared. Okay, I like that. I like keeping notes <laughs> and making sure we know what is up. Is he gonna look at you? It's a uh, about one point three. And again, since you're such generous and loving customers, and willing to do so much for me. Oh, he said one point three. One point three. One point three. Okay. Um. Shit, you got yourself a deal, and uh, um, this this, this is this doesn't necessarily lock anything off, but you know, I have some more stuff. I, I have for a few small little valuables that might be worth something if you're interested. That would leave you with five hundred and seven. I'll change that. I've already done it. Oh, thank you. Oh, hold on, let me. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'll then remove chain. I would like to point out that like even the rogue has an AC of like damn near fucking twenty. I'm max rolling heavy. I'm the also rogue. an expert, okay? I'm an expert. I'm also an expert, <laughs> right? I cheated. I cheated. Oh, I'm, I'm, I, I cheated. <laughs> Listen, I cheated, but at least I'm not fain, okay? At least I'm not fain. What do you mean at least I'm not fain? At least I'm not fain. I, I didn't do anything. Alright. See, plate. <laughs> Type in plate meal. It's like, you want adamantine. Nope. No, I do not. Yeah, I can't even wear armor. Yeah, but you don't need <laughs> armor. Piece of shit. You're Monk. too fast. It evens out. I thought you was going to say too fat. I'm not going to lie, mate. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fain, What's your like, blessed. Classes, Fain? What are your classes? Oh, uh, fighter monk. Fighter monk, alright. Monk fighter. Monk fighter, yeah. How many levels in fighter? Wait, do you not get armor proficiency when you spec into fighter as well? But monk gets gain... unarmored defense, which is actually oh, better. No, oh, no, no, you he don't gain armor benefits. You don't gain armor. You don't gain, gain armor proficiency, weapon proficiency, or anything like that. You gain proficiencies when you spec into certain classes. Yeah, no. you do. Nope, you do not. You don't huh? get more proficiencies from multi Yep, you do not gain more proficiencies from multi-classing. I, only have, I only have access to medium armor and shields because of the Hexblade feature, which is different from a proficiency because it's a feature. But you're not a... Hold on. But I'm originally a rogue warlock Hexblade. That's when I got the medium armor and shield. But... Oh, hold on. Just Google it. I'm, I'm Googling it right now. And I'm looking at it and it says light armor, medium armor, shield, simple weapons, martial arts. I, I, think, what, I think what he's saying is Google do you gain proficiencies when you're multi-class. I'm, look, I'm looking at multi-classing right now on 5th SRD. 5th SRD? Oh yeah, I know the website. Yeah. As you're looking that up in the shop, doing your purchases, it's already on your sheet. Is anybody else doing anything else at the moment, or shall we move an initiative forward? I'm just talking to honeys, that's all. Alright, uh, just give me... <laughs> give me charisma at disadvantage, and then insight at advantage. Why do I get disadvantage or charisma? Because you're doing a five minute schmoozing. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, You've only just woke up at 7 in the morning. Even what do you I'm, mean woke up? <laughs> even I ain't at my full potential. What, what, what do you mean What do you mean woke up? You've just come out of a trance. <laughs> Damn, what's her name? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, also, what's your season, by the way, before I forget? We'll do summer. Actually, no. Uh, winter. Now that was at this, so here, here's hoping you get no lower than that. But I am secretly hoping for a nat one. That's cool, that's okay. And then it was insight at advantage. Okay. I sent the, um, the website into the server. I picked 5th SRD because that's the source book I saw when I leveled up that we already had applied. That's right. Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm looking to, I, I'm... 
it's complicated, right? You get some of the proficiencies, but not all of them. So, yeah. uh, warlock, light armor, simple weapons, and then because you're also a rogue, a fucking absolute, yeah. So, you've got all your rogue stuff, because you started off mm -hmm. as rogue, and then you get the warlock light armor and the warlock simple weapons. As a rogue, you already get light armor and the weapons as well. But because everything else that he does is classed as a feature and not a proficiency. So, like, whereas we may not get, like, the, the martial weapons, his feature gives him, his, like, third level feature gives him proficiency. Oh, I'm, so, therefore, I'm, he I'm, gets I'm that. Not arguing, I'm not arguing that he should be getting more. I was simply stating that um, that's how Thane has access to it. And then he said he doesn't get the um, the uh, extra proficiency for stacking into fighter. So, I was saying Thane does. Yeah, you get Fame you get light armor, medium armor, shield, simple weapons, and martial weapons, but his unarmored defense cancels all of that out. So if he puts on armor, he loses all of the shit that give monks their power. And I had uh, that's why I had shut up after that was mentioned. No, you're right. Uh, I must be thinking of three point five again. Fucking three point five. Probably three point five multiplexing. I always do that. Fucking three point five. Yeah. <laughs> Vain as you are, can round town, giving everybody the, you know, the finger guns and the kissy faces. <laughs> um, while some of the younger women are definitely, like, turned off by all of this, some of the older women, you know... The MILFs. They're giving you that. No, no, no. The GILFs. <laughs> yeah, there's a G. Remove that M. It's a G. We're going back in the alphabet. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. shit. I forgot. Um... I wanted to see if I could sell him uh, the gold locket with the portrait of the, what, gnome lady? Dwarf lady? That's, uh, that's about right. Fane is like 136. <laughs> um, you're wearing chain now, Mithril Armor. Mithril Armor weight. Mithril numbers. shirt is 10 Plus pounds versus 25 pounds. Mithril plate is actually 25. So you get half, yeah. So then, the weight that I should be looking at here, um, 20. Boop. There you go. Thanks. No bother. Yeah. I don't even notice that, to be fair, mate. I don't even fucking notice. <laughs> yeah. As Renard and Exodus make their way back up to the little forging area, of the dwarves who are doing their own little thing. They look towards you. Have you come to a consensus? I have. Family, uh, Adam's family at that music. I really like the harps accord and the. <laughs> Are we, are we, hold on, are we bringing back an ancient legendary weapon or are we bringing back the it? <laughs> like, what, are we, what are we doing here? Listen, <laughs> right? Harpsichord. Who has the accordion? <laughs> I like Harpsichord. You know what? I've also got right. this one. You hear how that's just a little bit too epic though? There's big drums in there. There's two big drums, yeah. There's the, the drums are too big. Go back to the other one, I guess. <laughs> the drums, the drums too big. <laughs> Seven out of ten drum too big. Um, yeah, you would look to Renard and say, "That's up to this man right here." Do you, uh, Renard? Do you think that giving up your thing that shoots the, uh, uh, it shoots the, um, he like puts a finger on his, he's scratching his chin. He's like, it shoots the. I don't know what to, just raw magic at people, I guess. Yeah, we're talking about the necklace neck mates? Did oh, I spell yeah, necklace you, wrong, really? You know, after I spelt necklace wrong so long ago. Yeah. Yes, we're talking about that or we're talking about the he rejoiced necklace. I'm talking about the necklace we got when Fane died a kind of lame death, and the gods were like, ooh, well, let's give you something. <laughs> <In> the... 
Yes. <laughs> Walk it at it to see if it's suitable for the needs to be able to repair the dragon lance. Create new. Watch as he looks at the lance, looks at the necklace. You are giving this up. I assume that when we're done, you will be the one that takes this, kind of holds it up with just one finger and starts kind of spinning it between his fingers like a baton. There's a wind picking up. You do see that it does seem to have this almost slight smoking wisp to it. As you can tell that the dragon orb has already been incorporated to give this thing a air of mystique. Yes, I would be the wielding the finished product lance. Then I'm gonna piss his hands out. Give me a few hours and I'll have it back to you in its full glory. He places his hand out for the necklace. They hand over the necklace and say, a few hours. By sundown. By sundown. You remove the ancient necklace from yourself. Pass down and round through the family, the order that you hold. It's weird not having this weight around your neck. It's like when you get a fresh new haircut and the wind just hits you in the back. It's odd. As you watch as he immediately starts going to work and hammering it into the blade. Shaft is the word I didn't want to use, but these things don't have blades. They are spiky. <laughs> uh, a wisp of nostalgia crosses my mind. A quick prayer to Kiri Jules. Done the right thing for the better good and turn on my heels and walk away. So, Exodus would follow him, and he would also respect his, like, prayer time. He's just gonna watch him pray, but then the moment he finishes and they walk away together, he says, Is it... I kind of... Is it racist to me to assume that all dwarves can have the ability to repair legendary weapons now of legend? Dwarves can do that? Like, or did we just like find like a diamond in the rough? Not that dwarves are rough, but like, this is insane. We are putting a lot of trust in the I mean, individual air, but I know, but I didn't know dwarves were this awesome. Not that dwarves weren't awesome before. I mean, I'm an ally, but. <laughs> <laughs> My leg laughs. Look out! I'm not. They're basically just short humans. Someone take the fucking yes. shovel off of him. Stop digging! Stop digging! All right, let's let's go see what uh, Grinder wanted. Grinder. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay, let's go back. Yep, I gotta. I guess I gotta rally the the troops at um, at the camp, the party. And go to whoever wants to head with us to grab it to see what other task he has for us. What up? What are you doing right now, sir? Curiosity. Uh, ooh, what Luna is doing? I think she's just crawled up in like a soft spot, like a cat, waiting for for people to. Uh, be done with their business. She has her, her new shining item. She's like cuddling, almost cuddling her her new moonsicle, and just kind of kind of waiting for people to be done with their business. She I, she what she wanted. 
I too cuddle sharp objects. Well, she has a sheep And as you <clears throat> enter into the salt lake, you see Luna lying there, cuddling the sickle like, oh, as everything is happening around. Clifton, you were looking to sell some stuff, correct? Yeah, sell this uh, trinket I got off of some monster's corpse. I don't know. All I know is it's an ugly woman inside. I don't need this. Gold locket with a painted portrait inside. Yep. Uh, I'll just add 10 gold to your sheets. I'm pretty sure that's something that Fane gave you. Like... Session no, 10. Nobody wanted it. <laughs> yeah. That was Speaking what I was of, just going to give to you. Speaking of fan, how's that intense Minecraft combat going? How's the fight with zombies? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Old pretty school. insane. It's, it's, want... it's pretty intense. <clears throat> I want to ask uh, him um, first before I let go of this. Could, could you uh, appraise this Chalcedony? Like, you, is there any use of somebody like me might have for it? I had no idea what a chalcedony was. It's an opaque white gemstone. He's gonna look at it. He gives it once over. That's, um. That there's very much a. It's more use for jewellery. So, uh, the crafting and creation of jewels for, you know, weddings and such. I'd, I'd give you 40 gold for it, but, you know, it'll probably end up in the pile with all of the other miscellaneous gemstones at the end of the day. Uh, you know any place uh, nearby? I can, oh, not nearby, but anyway, um, <laughs> you think I would, I would be better off uh, selling this to a jeweler? If you could find one. <laughs> if you could find one, would you, would you also let me know? Can I, just opens up a drawer filled with gems like that scene from Loki where there's just infinity ah. stones all over the place. I was just thinking that when you said that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm kind of taken aback. Um, I let him know, like, if, if I find one, I'm, I'm going to send them over here for your for your business. You'll make us a fine, fine, fine profit. If, if I ever get a chance to come back here, I'll let you know how it went if you haven't already found out. But uh, hopefully so hopefully I meet one that uh, travels or sends an emissary out to get things for you. Speaking of emissaries, my friend. He watches, he starts shuffling around. As he does, he places... His cards face down once more. Have you ever heard of Augury? I have, actually. Is you? Are you are you asking me um to 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 do it? I'm asking you. Is he places two piles down, a row of seven at the top, and a row of six on the bottom? Do you feel anything from these 13? Um, you know what? I'm gonna check and see if I do. You don't need to use magic, just hold your hand over and let me know. And what I'm gonna do here, for your own sake, and for my sake as well, is I've made the grid thick for a reason, Emily, because I'm pretty thick. Okay. Four, eight, six, seven, and then Can you tell I didn't win any competitions for my handwriting. Let's see, passes over. Which of these feels good to you? Hmm. 
I'm gonna wave my hand around over them slowly and let it fall on the seven. I don't know why I felt seven was coming, I'll be honest with you. He pushes seven off to the side. What one feels bad to you? I wave my hand around once more. And it settles on the ten. Hello? <laughs> This is of the wrong. <laughs> and what one feels neutral to you? Neither good nor bad. Neither will nor woe. Watches he takes the first card there. He's gonna rip it in half and throws it in the bin. Takes the card marked as number seven. Pushes that off to the side and starts to rack the rest in. He takes the final one. Kind of flips it over. He reads. 150 foot rope. Ah, yeah. That is pretty bad. On the up hand, feel free to take 150 foot worth of rope. He then takes your good one, flips that round. You're a man of the cloth, the cloth, the cloister, or are you not? I suppose I would be considered as such, yeah. And you do that, which is good for those you love, yes? Yeah. Roll a d4. Oh, God. Oh, God. Roll it again. <laughs> I don't know what this is. You watch as he goes under the desk and starts pulling out three little packs and kind of pushes them together and pushes them towards you. I feel you may need these sooner than you think. Uh, add three healer's kits to your... Three healer's kits and 150 foot worth of rope to your sheet. I'm scared about what the <laughs> fuck he sees that makes me think I'm going to need a healer's kit so... Do you, wanna, do you wanna know what you destroyed out of curiosity? Just out of pure sure. love and love? A larger, larger monstrosity with a CR rating of 10 or less chosen by the DM appears within 15 foot and is hostile only to you. Mm. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <sighs> Oi, oh, so lucky. But yeah. Three healers kits. How do I have the uh, healers kits? Very useful. Uh, I'll pop them on f for you. And do you have 50 foot of rope? You do. I have 50 foot. Um, just hover over that and make it four. Uh, I don't care whether it's silk or hemp. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna put... Actually, you know what, I'm putting silk because that shit's heavy. The, the hemp rope is heavy as Um... I feel like Clifford is, I mean, Clifton is also sensual enough to have the silk rope. <laughs> you know? You know it's a real Fabio-looking motherfucker to tie up his enemies in silk rope. Oh, sorry, it's, it's two, my bad, it is two healer's kits. That's the reason why I asked you to re-roll the one. One take away one is mm -hmm. nothing. And if I said roll a d3, I feel Jalen would have had a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel everyone would have had an aneurysm if I'd said roll a d3. I would have shorted out like Fry when he saw what it was in his bank account. <laughs> why, why, why is that? Because in a deck of many things, it's 1d3 wishes. 
Oh. Whereas if you do 1d4, take away 1, re-rolling 1s. <laughs> but that's just really complex, so have them roll a d4, and if they roll a 1, have them re-roll. But yeah, as you Ooh. take all these, and as it does, everyone seems to walk into the odds end. Z looks at you all. Your timings. Good. What we say? I have... My awesome. I'm have scared as shit. Sorry, go ahead. I have a little something for you. Some... Information, if you will. And I feel, out of all the things I've had you do, this is the big one. Oh. Oh, indeed. Are you interested? I am. Um, I would like to get the dagger first, though. But if it was a deal breaker. I, I guess I don't mind, you know. I've got to my uh, back. I've I've got uh, healers kits. Um, I, I'm I'm scared because one of these things has ten uses, and I have two, and you said I'm gonna be needing them soon. They just stabilize people. It's also like spare the dime. You can dish those out. As you watch, as he kind of goes under the table, you hear that scraping as he pulls out a black and red karambit knife, just spins it on his finger. I also have a plus seven to medicine, so like, again, very scary that I would need these. But understandable, I will take them. Plus seven is good, however, nat one still exists. Yeah, yeah, true. And this is no check at all, so... The, oh god, oh, that, that, is, that is also pressure off my shoulders. Uh, go on, nice. do you remember how to go into the compendiums and add shit, Tipler? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. No. 100% you never- I mean, you always add everything to my sheet. <laughs> you, always do the, you always do the HP, you basically just baby feed- I, I micromanage the, everyone in the you, weirdest ways. So that, that's like why I don't like- I remember like I have something that's worth 500 GP that I'm supposed to sell, but I don't have it added to my sheets. <laughs> it's gonna sound fucking crazy, but you know, you record all these sessions, so you know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's cute, you think I'll watch them back? Oh, uh, but you gotta, you know, we, at least I can go back to it. I'll yeah. eventually, like, in 20 weeks when the episode's out, I can be... <laughs> we, talk, we, talk, we talk about, we're gonna finish here. The first episode where we started here just came out today. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's why it's called shopping. Yeah, Ding. see, hands you the karambit blade. You know, walks out of his little area and turns the little sign and pulls down all the little blinds. I've heard of some small, not insignificant issues here in the northern wastes. Now, my people are very much having some issues. And I feel your people will start having issues soon as well. And you know that way the enemy of my enemy is my friend, is how they would say. Well, this is everyone's enemy. And they're making enemies of everyone else. Somewhere to the northeast, there is a camp. Camp. Filled with slaves. Where people are kidnapped by reptilian like creatures. And forced into manual labour. For a god they don't believe in. For a cause they don't care about. People from here have been taken. I've only heard the word of it. But I know it's a busy place. I'd very much like you to um, free the people there. 
get them back home safe. And we will be forever indebted to you. What do you say? Sounds good. I always like to beat up some slave holders. Yeah, I hate slaves. I mean, I hate slavery. <laughs> <laughs> I also hate dragon people. I also hate. It. We're here to kill dragon. It's it. I, we're probably gonna do it anyway. To be, why'd you Why'd you close the blinds? Oh, that's. Uh, have I have I like have I surmised that? Oh, go ahead. He picks up the little candle and. <sighs> it's a stealth mission. Oh god, I have full Ooh. plate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the chain I wasn't doing me any favors in the first place. Stealth mission, you say? Oh. I guess I I'll do it. You guys, you, guys can, you guys can stay here. I'll, I'll go. You guys can just... How'd you get my stealth chain miss? Listen, I'm... Something I'm pretty sure I have some shit I can alt use to alter my rolls, but... Given your... Disadvantage, disadvantage. Given your... Hang on. Old pal here, I'm gonna pat Renard on the shoulder. Some nice... Light mithril. Listen to him, he's gonna grabs the shirt and the mail and kinda gives it a shake and you don't even hear a single rattle. Oh, He'll be fine. God. That's a thing. Yeah. Why I asked for it. I might have to buy that when I get money again. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. I know I have money. Hold on. Z places a hand on you, Exodus. You might want to um you might want to part ways with some items you have there, old friend. You're looking a bit on the uh the pudgy side, shall we say. You You calling me fat? Yes, very much so. You're gonna slow your friends down. Oh my god, that's so offensive, but you know something about me takes this, you know, as very good value. Um, you're over encumbered, mate. You're over encumbered. I know, I know. <laughs> that's, that's what I mean. Like these, like you know what? I'm so offended, but also at the same time, you're right. Um, I know. I'm maybe having a nine and straight. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't have a bunch of these things. Yeah, the Hexblade Rapier is technically zero. The, the serrated sword was turned into those metal objects, the toys that was handed out. The Machin Longsword was given to Renard, and the Dragonlance Dagger was also used to... And the Hexblade yep. Rapier is a shadow rapier that doesn't have a weight to it. Oh, it doesn't have a weight to it. Um, The dagger... I do have a dagger. The, do I have the Tomoko Land Longsword? I don't know. Tomoko Land Longsword oh doesn't weigh anything. Oh, my god, okay. you can um, fuck it. You still got your leather armor, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll just, I'll, you know, put down the leather armor. And I'll be like, you know what? You know, because, you know, you've been so good to us, I'll just, you just have this. Uh, look at my other items. I have a, I don't have that much. I only have 40 pounds of rope. That's not too much rope. My god, you have 24 coming. rations. Yeah, 48 yeah, pounds yeah, right there. You're completely unrelevant. What are you talking about? I man needs to eat. <laughs> oh, man. How many how many pounds Five. am I encumbered by? Where's the math here? Uh, oh, I see at the bottom. 142 over 135. Right. Even Fane is over encumbered at this point as well. You know, if, you know what the thing is too? The bar am stays I? blue and white text even if you're over encumbered. There's no yeah. like, warning. Message. There's no like red text. But let me. I'll, I'll do some weight. Um, Here's what we'll do, okay? You take yourself to. I was going to say 19 rations there. So I was just going to go ahead and give some to Renard. You know. <laughs> Fuck you, Renard. No, I have the shield I can get rid of. Too. The shield that Not you're right attuned right. to? The shield that I'm going to ask. Clifton to remove curse so I could unattune from it. You know, I could just cast silence on myself, but it's not a thing. But yeah, I can <laughs> remove the curse. 
<laughs> Thank you, Curse Be Gone. Start so what? Just for both cards is what he's asking. Mm. Oh yeah, um, let me go ahead and uh... I place my hand upon you in the way that Jesus placed his hand upon you. Yada 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 yada. This new god called Jesus, I've never heard of him before. Hoggin. Um, Let's do big things one day. One day. The <laughs> armor is an attunement still, right? It's no longer attunement, yeah. Alright, sweet. So I'll so remove the I'll... attunement from that one there. And then I will remove the shield from your sheet, which takes you just over. Um, you have 24 rations. Let's take it in 19 rations, okay? Yeah, I'll give the rest. I'll give those rations. You want... How many? Five additional on Renard makes give Renard twelve days worth of rations, since he's the only one that didn't buy any. I'll give I another also, five to I, Renard as well because I also have ten and it's very heavy and I'm very weak. <laughs> I also will never need this hidden lantern because I have double sight. But now we're just nitpicking. He might use it to Molotov cocktail someone later. I don't know. <laughs> You might just bitch slap someone with a hooded lantern for shits and giggles. You never know. Bernard, I put, you know, 22 rations. Um, Ruby, have you removed oh. 10? I've removed 5. Oh, okay. Yep, five. Then I'll just remove 5 from you again. Uh, remove 5 from you. Oh, can you take 9 rations off my sheet and <laughs> distribute them to somebody? I fucking can't. I'll take them. Give 9 rations to. Just add 9 to your sheet. I'll take 9 off of mine. I'll take the 9 off. Okay. We're just God. like... <laughs> <laughs> it was fast. <laughs> Everyone's standing in the shop just handing pack lunches to each other. <laughs> hey, hey. Like, I'll trade you my PB&J for your turkey and cheddar. <laughs> I feel like I should get rid of some things. I'm carrying a lot of weapons. I'm gonna... I've been saying that for a while there, mate, and you just went, mm-hmm. <laughs> If, if, if you want to give me an extra sword, long sword, I could use it. I'll say right well, now. Hey. Two long swords, a spear, a trident, a pike. I should probably dump a spear and a trident, maybe at least. <clears throat> I'll put the spear down. I'll remove the trident. When you, when you say a stealth mission, there. if we kill everyone there... Does that... That's better. Do all the bad guys, does that still count as a stealth mission? I say it's a stealth mission because it would be paramount to suicide for you to go in there and just um, set off alarms. In fact, were you to set off the alarm? Well, I'd probably be buying this stuff back here in a few days' time. Buy stuff Sucks or TPA? I like those a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, what's in it for us? <laughs> Did we get to that part? Oh yeah, the bit of knowledge. That was it. I'm, I'm still gonna help regardless because, you know, slavery is bad. And he looks right. like slavery is bad. Like, bad. And then he <laughs> turns and looks back to the... <laughs> Axis used to be a pirate. <laughs> not another TPK, please. Once a week is enough. What do you mean uh, once? What happened? Uh, me and Ruby's campaign, we uh, TPK'd last, uh, on Saturday there. Oh, I, 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 I was worried for a second. I, was, I, I thought, like, this shit happened when I left. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, if is everyone, is everyone ready then? Does anyone have, you know... Um... I actually I'm gonna, have some, um, some business to do. Um... Good job, Keeper. Do you have something that would allow me to communicate while unable to speak and unable to write ah maybe some mental connections you know 
He starts moving his hands in really weird ways. Yeah. I... <laughs> Mm. He's throwing up gang signs. <laughs> I yeah no, that is. I, I, <laughs> that feels like it's it's gonna take a while to learn. Maybe some something of a more magical nature. You know, if we want to be quiet during a stealth mission, you know, we don't want to speak too loudly. So I, that that's why I'm asking. Hmm. The power of Way friendship. Back. Remember way back when I tried to teach everybody <laughs> some hand signals? God, that was I what... just literally... I, my laughing is Agnes laughing right now as he bursts out laughing thinking of Renard's hand signals. And he starts, like, trying to do a few of them, kind of joking, but he clearly doesn't even remember them at all. I've got to find that session. <sighs> like, that was... Obvious. Jeez, that was way back early. Yeah, that was... Really. Playlists, uh, Fandelver and Below, Descent into Avernus, Dragonlance. 35 episodes of Dragonlance. Push the button. Uh, session 5, Welcome to Calaman. Uh, sessions 8, 9, and 10. Yep. <clears throat> so We're on already. 34 now. Hell yeah. I'm more asking for something like a ring of, of uh, telepathy or something like that. I got silence. A, a ring of what? A ring of oh, telepathy. Oh, okay. okay. I can talk to people while I'm watching. That's not what you're asking. I'm so sorry. Ring of telepathy. Telepathy. Wand of telepathic bond. Allows you to cast Rory's telepathic bond, I think. That's what you're thinking of, maybe. Not sure. Um, good shopkeeper. Do you happen to have any bombs in stock? D Sir, I'm not a member of the IRE. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, you know, you know. Um, I think. As. I don't so that thing you're speaking. I don't see anything for Rary's telepathic bond as a an item. Okay. Okay. Uh, do, do I hear Faye asking about bombs? Yeah, yeah. you do. Okay. I, I got glyph of warding. Explosive no. round. The thing on there. Uh, like a bomb in D and D is an actual item that I want. Oh, okay. Uh, you weren't talking about for the mission. You were just talking about something you want to hang on to. Yeah. Okay. Just in case it's needed. Mm. There's there's the helm of uh, telepathy. Let's we're in this. You can cast detect thoughts. <laughs> That's just detect thoughts. You hungry there, Jalen? A little bit. Oh. I don't think there's actually anything that gives that. You know what? I think looking at it, too, I think. That might be red. Wait, hold on. I think I might got it. What you got? <laughs> Sending stones, but we just strap, like, we just tape it to the side of the bear's face. Send, uh, sending stone, uh, sending stones one person to one person is the only thing. Oh, here, ring of telepathy, uh, but it is a, I believe it's a critical role homebrew. Oh yeah, um, while I'm here. You got any diamonds? I don't know if um if it's in five I'll let you know if it's in five E tools. Really, where are you reading that thing from? Because I it I'd like I to know exactly how it is, you know? Oh campaign two. Ring of telepathy critical role. Yeah. You spoiler. View spoiler. Um, <laughs> Alright, as he watches, he scribbles down and looks. He starts to, you know, look around. I know what I'm looking for here, Jesus Christ. 
There we go. Push the button. Cool. As he starts digging through some things. Looks at you specifically. This particular thing. He looks at Clifton. You've got some power. Have this. He's got experience with it. He kind of pulls out a scroll. Oh. Oh. I don't part with it cheaply. How much? 4,000 gold. Ugh. Oh, and you I'm can communicate plate. mentally for an hour. Oh, 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 I thought that was a reviving spell. Never mind. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. For an hour? Rary's telepathic bond lasts for one hour. And it's a... I'm probably respond to my question about the diamonds. And it's a fifth level spell. Spells. Uh, Wrong spells. What about? Nope, not here. Spells. R E R. Alright, so it ain't even there, so I'm gonna have to go into a sheet to pull this one, I feel. Oh, package right here. Fucking. Rare is telepathic bond. For the telepathic length of the eight willing creatures, you can see within range. Link with all creatures for the duration. Creatures with an intelligence score of less than two are unaffected. Till the spell ends, you can communicate telepathically through the bond, whether or not you have a common language. Communication is possible over any dif distance, though it does not extend to another plane of existence. Oh. Cast it upon you if you wish. As I feel none of you could cast it. But it's my backup plan. So therefore, the time that it took for me to work this, I'd be looking for the compensation. What are your, what are your thoughts on that one? A lot of gold for an hour. A lot of gold for an hour. A lot of gold for a fifth level spell. <laughs> like, his, his whole thing is, you know, fifth level spell. You pay, you, fifth level spell usually costs about five thousand gold. That's insane. Also takes was four present? weeks. Also takes four weeks to create the spell scroll. You create a spell scroll for this? Rary's telepathic bond. It's a wizard spell, fifth level. Oh. We have no fifth level wizards. It's the I only think... community. It's the I don't only know why tele... we're... It's the only telepathic communication that you would be able to get, as all items are all the only one creature at a time. Uh, I don't uh, know why Melano we're is, actually. What, what level is Melano? Is she fifth level yet? She's not a wizard. It's only on the she... wizards. Uh, I don't know why we're actually thinking about this. I'm pretty sure that Ruby was thinking about something more long term because I don't think that she's just looking for a one time thing. The thing from Critical Role was also a. Um, was also like a one thing, one person, one thing. Okay, so what good is That's her right. talking to us, to, uh, her talking to us in animal form one time? And why is it worth no, four thousand gold? I mean, like a so, one. I mean, like it goes between one person, like a sending yeah, stone. That, that that is fine. Like just away, so I. 
because what I'm more thinking about is that I could use bot shape to kind of infiltrate because I can turn into the tiny ass fucking animals and then report back, but not having to like keep using wild shape charges to talk and then go back and talk and go back. That is the right. only way reason I'm thinking about it. Right, how we much could, was it again? We, we could establish a signal or of some sort of four thousand set up on your inside. Yeah, no, never mind then. A lot. Uh, what does thousand. short rest a lot? It's fine. I, I don't think we should short rest, but I do think you know what? Um, it's one something. We we just gotta we just gotta be a bit more smarter. It is it is up there, but you know I think we're good. Uh, how long will it take us to get there? What's the travel like? For for a layman, for you of course not us because you know not us but you know I mean I guess for us if you count for you it's a day easily day easily without fail there and back in eight hours that being said it also depends upon when you wish to actually show up show up during the day or you can show up during the night I think personally. We leave at nightfall tonight. After Renard gets the repaired weapon, and then we make it there. Was it tomorrow night? Um. So I'll let you know right now. Um, it's less than thirty miles. But it would still technically take your full day, meaning if you were to get there, it would be nightfall if you left today. Right. I mean, is I mean, I don't know how dragons see. I mean, I know they use eyes, but I assume they can maybe see in the dark because they got you know, like you know, how, like cats have those weird eyes. I think dragon yeah. snakes have weird eyes too. But I think that means they can see. In the, I don't know about animals, but I think maybe they can see. I'm not sure. I think maybe they can see in the dark, but I'm not positive. But I do think the dark might be giving us a bit more cover. How many of us can see in the dark? I can't. Not me. The silence. There's a uh, why. He he <laughs> says. Fane says, "Why can't you see in the dark?" Uh. Why can't you fly? Fane's Fane says I can fly. You can't fly. Yes, I can. Do it. <laughs> oh, real boy. I can not grow. Have any of the Draconians that you have came up against been able to see in the dark? No, but every elf I know can see in the dark. I mean, yeah, that makes more sense. I think every dragon thing should be able to see in the dark, and not every elf thing can see. I don't really keep track of. I mean, there's a brand new species to us, really, or should... golem. I I think they like on paper they should be able to see in the dark. I wasn't really talking about the dragon things. Talking about our companion here. I was answering a question. From oh, oh, Grand. Because. Well, I can't see in the dark, see. for one. Uh, the reason I can't see can in the dark... Is cause... You said what? The reason I can't see in the dark is cause... Um, I'm not full elf, so I don't actually have that benefit, sadly. Half elf have uh, in the dark vision? They do. <laughs> not all elves, you know? Hashtag not my elf. <laughs> I mean... Uh, wow. <laughs> Um, wow. I guess I guess it's really, but you can see you could transform into an animal that can see in the dark, right? Could you transform into a snake and tell us if the dragon people can turn into? I mean, could see in the I dark? I can turn into. I can I can turn into anything. I don't know what you're talking about, but Thanks for yes, I could do some reconnaissance. Um, I have the capability for it, yeah. Well. Well, well, we'll, we'll see. We get there at night. We do some reconnaissance at night. You know, we, we we take it from there. If we decide that you know maybe you know camp is well lit enough that we can sneak through it and still 
you know, do it or, you know, maybe camp is completely pitch black and we need some source of light and it might be better to go in the day. We'll, we'll, okay. we'll figure um, out. I, I, I want to ask if the shopkeeper has any diamonds. Kind of roots through his little drawers and just starts pulling up drawers and placing them down. Um, I've got a lot of gemstones. There's probably diamonds in there. What do you I'm need? I'm the party and asking if anybody can identify some. song. Um, I, I, I need... Well, one, to, to, to sum things up, I need as many groups of diamonds that would equal 300 gold pieces, um, summarily, uh, that you have, and that I can buy. Mm. And I'm going to look to the party and say, if, if um, I, I don't expect you guys to chip in if you don't want to, um, but I will say, I, I will, I'll do my best to keep you, uh, not dead, but I'd like to have this just in case, because I know we talked about it in the cave, and that was an oversight on my part, and I'm glad nobody died in the cave. I mean, if I'm you gonna... need more money, you do have, like, five magical <laughs> items. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push over 500 gold pieces for buying, uh, some diamonds. I'm gonna put up all 517 and... One lectrum, I don't know how much that is, but putting all that up for the diamonds as well. <laughs> fuck it. Uh, do, do, do. You know, personally, fuck fame, so I'm also putting in 200 gold. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're also putting in 200 gold. I gave 500. Yeah, but <laughs> we, got, uh, I have. we got 1,200. I put in 500. <laughs> what am I going to do with money? Let me see how many times I can cast this. I mean, buy as many buy as many diamonds as you can right now, yeah. just so so that leaves twelve. What do you to need? 700. You need a five hundred gold piece diamond. Uh, three hundred for the spell. Three. Yeah, just buy as many as you can. It does also say diamonds, so it, I guess there could be however many that will equal three. So, um, so that's five diamonds with a remainder of two hundred gold. One more. Come on, who only threw in two fifty? I only threw in 200, but that's literally all of my gold. No, oh, I'll give another 100 around him to another diamond. Sure. Um, let me see if I can sell anything I got. That's six diamonds. Six diamonds? We are set. Like, you got, you got enough to get everybody and then someone twice. So you've got enough to get everybody and Exodus again. Yes! Okay, let this me was, burn off right, this 500. Is my dumbass motherfucker. I'm like, let me spend all of my hit dice in a single attack. And I'm gonna make sure I keep those spell slot that's those spell slot uh save. I made sure I already took off the gold for my sheet as well. I'll take my I'll take off my gold. Three hundred G diamond uh quantity five. I thought he got a six. Yep, six, sorry. Oh uh, as button that got six. Shit. We've got to write this down. Ton of diamonds. The Mad Mage guys didn't even have half as much money as this, and they were really stingy and bought one diamond. And then two people died. <laughs> <laughs> and both oh, bodies damn. both bodies got put in the hole. Oh fucking Ronin. <laughs> Yeah. And that's when you get Meta Magic Adapted Twin Spell. Oh my fucking god, that is smart. Yeah, Meta Magic Adapt doesn't have a class prerequisite. You can Twin Spell any spell. For oh, but it's a third level spell, so it wouldn't work. Why? Huh. Because Meta uh, Twin Spell is one for each level of spell, one for a cantrip. So you would need three sorcery points instead of two. Yeah, yeah. Well, but yeah. But um, also, I wanted to ask if I could get another armor upgrade. John, I can hear your. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I heard it, and I looked over, and I was about to tell Jalen to stop. 
<laughs> what even was that? Was that boomer memes? <laughs> oh, what do you call me a boomer? Shit. That was a no, 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 no. Checking a guy's truck. I, oh, I, I heard just some like country dude. He was like, God damn, bye bye, bye. <laughs> some like Boomhauer or some shit. I was like, this. <laughs> Mumbles. Uh, looks over. Ah, uh, I'm really all tapped out here. I've only got his old armor. Has he bought my most recent? And points towards. No half plate? Not, I'm afraid. Armies aren't known for wearing half plate. Wrist plate? Mm. Full plate or chain shot? Ah, fuck. I don't know if the chain mail I had. Or oh, that's heavy. That's chain heavy. mail, chain shot. I keep mixing those two up, but. Chain shirt is a. medium armor, chain mail is heavy armor. And I think they both do the same as well in terms of your NACs. No. They no, absolutely do not. Max, really? Max chain mail is 60. Let me look it up. Um. Like, I didn't mean for it to come out like that. I was just saying, like, I had gone through this whole thing of, like, wanting to have different types of armor in another campaign and was about to just ask for a chain shirt, but then he asked, are you sure that's what you want? And I checked. Um, I'm still between my armors, I'll be honest. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go to... Uh, i done a lot of, like, uh, the... and the armor. I'm going to print the fucking page off. I want to print off that very specific table. Yeah. It's gonna look. That's all we've really got. Got something else that might come in useful. Once we're done here, maybe. Who knows? You might like it, you might not. But. I feel I've been overly generous with my wealth so far. And I feel it's about time that you've done something for me again. So go. I tell him, uh. Go ahead. And I may or may not have something else from another plane of existence to tickle one's fancy. Another plane? Is it the grey? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him we all get back here alive and I get the chance to rest. I might be able to uh, do, do, a, do a service for you that you might need done depending on what it is that's done my capabilities. Okay. I meant spell shit, cleric shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that, like, oh, I might be, once I get rested and cleaned up, I might be able to perform some services for your mom. I'm trying to figure out how to, like, how to, like, say, like, because, like, Clifton, like, he doesn't have formal cleric training. He doesn't really know much about his ability. He just, I don't know how, I don't know how to write in the, like, the fact that he can do certain shit or new shit. Like, I can technically just use shape stone and like find a big old staff slab and make a statue of him for his shop. An expertly made statue. For the low, low price of one spell slot a day. I could, I could kill his bunions or some shit, I don't know. Anyway. You, do you have access to the ceremony spell? You just yeah, going around marrying people because there's been no clarity. I can go around marrying people. No one's people. been able to around. marry anyone. Did, did, if you know what read that spell. People, I can absolve clerics. Well, I think I can absolve. I don't know if I can absolve yeah. clerics, but I can absolve people. I can I fucking can uh, make holy water. I was like, if you know not read that spell. I mean, I just can't help but imagine, like, the how many marriages have been performed using that spell in this world. <laughs> Post cataclysm. <laughs> Who has an ordained yeah, atonement? Oh, God. I can touch one of the. Not, not, not absolution, atonement. Touch one of the creatures, allow this change, make a DC 20 wisdom insight check. And, oh, sh I mean, it's a high thing, but my insight's also high. Unsuccessful check, you restore a target to your original alignment. Less water, coming of age ceremony. Um, dedication to a god's service. Um, funeral rite and wedding. Wedding's the good one. Yeah, wedding gets you a nice little boost. What, uh... 
Oh, that fucking. Man, that's nice. Want to go ahead and want to go ahead and tie the knot, Exodus? <laughs> uh, if you shape shift into someone hotter. <laughs> What? I can't pretend do to be that. rebel while we do it. What? Who's rebel? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm kidding. <laughs> I feel like the shopkeeper. Go ahead. Shopkeeper leans in. I feel some chemistry between your two elves. Ah, what that well, one? Um, I'll see if I can uh, see if I can uh, do anything to uh, help them uh, see it. And if yeah, I don't wanna. Uh, I just want a 17 armor class. I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared of commitment. I could also just, you know, get the fucking spell. Uh, what is it? Um, it's what's one spell that gives you a plus two. It gives me a, a ability of somebody a plus two. The armor class, but it's shorter. Um, what is it? Is it sanctuary? No, it's not sanctuary. Shield of faith. There we go. That's the bonus I can do. Walks over and flips everything back up. Let me know when you're done. And, uh, I'll have everything ready for you. Till then. Go with gods. Maya con Dios. Erosa, requiem. When I'm gonna so yeah, where are we all going? It is, let's say it's nine p.m. nine a.m. Spent some time in there chatting shit. Well, time to free some slaves. Wait, wait, wait hold on. I suppose I can buy a horse for seventeen GP. We don't, we don't do that right now. We don't go free the slaves right now. I mean, they can wait a little bit. We're waiting on Renard to get his weapon, which ideally we wouldn't have to use, but just in case, it'd be really good to have. Ah, uh, yes, just a backup nuke. Okay. Got it. Just, just, just a, you know, just in case, right? But for now, I think we try to make money. You know, we, we just make spend money all money. Well. You know, do you have an instrument? Um, do band. I? That's, that's a question. I don't have an we, instrument. We can, we can go back in there, we can go get instruments, we can go to the tavern. Is there a tavern here? Do they yeah, here? Uh, the salt lick. You have been staying there oh. all, all your time here. Oh, yeah. oh wait, hey, was he, uh, right there? was he serious about not having bombs? Very much so. No, oh, sad. I Where do I get create, bombs from? Just, I got create and destroy water. Um, I feel like there's some really fucked up shit you could do with my healing and my inflict wounds, but I'm probably not gonna do that. Um... I wasn't even this... thinking about that, but you're right, we totally could torture someone and heal them repeatedly, I love you. Oh, no, I wasn't <laughs> thinking about that, I was talking about, like, 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 like me hooded <laughs> bumping through a cloud, crowd of somebody, they fucking get wounded, and then like, IS THERE A DOCTOR? IS THERE A DOCTOR? But that, that's, that's horrible. That's that is horrible, horrible. Thing, however, I'm so proud of you that you thought of that. <laughs> Um, I mean, this place um, has a bunch of gems in that pit over there, right? You could go pit diving. True. I mean, this place is also rich, rich full of gems. That's that's income we could sell later. And I also yeah, want to break yeah. up how I, um, true. I think maybe that we go chance. gem splunking or we go to the is Isn't, isn't that owned by somebody else? I don't know, but I'm, I guess I'm going to go to the tavern and I'm going to perform something i don't know i don't know how to sing and then he raises his hand and then some magic his hand glows and he goes uh-huh 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 and he closes the light closes and he closes his hand he's like i know how to sing now <laughs> <laughs> is anyone else doing anything else once we run this shit okay. um no i'm man. not really gonna try to do any great rich quick schemes i am also gonna um offer anybody water if they want it like in the town just checking, do you have a book worth 25 gold pieces on you, mate? Oh, uh, I did not look. I did not see. Hold on, book. Book, hold on, hold on. I can find a book. You got a prayer book, book, but it ain't worth that much. Book, oh, wait, book, no, you do. On, oh, my yeah. fucking god. 
I do. Your prayer the book is worth... 15, ain't it? 25. It is? Well... Yeah, that, that there is worth 25. Um, second level, book worth at least 25, one action, self. Uh, is that the duration it takes to it's, cast? The duration is one hour. The right, so I, hour to cast you go to the, No, it takes an action to cast this. It takes an... It lasts for... The duration is an ah. hour, but it takes cool. an action to cast. Kill, kill. Uh... A proficiency in a chosen You know what? What's everyone else doing? Yeah. Um, are, one, are we going to do anything else with the day other than just chilling? Whenever you is ready. Alright, I'm going to ask the party. Are we doing anything else with the uh, with the day besides chilling before we head out? Mm, I don't have any plans. Because if you don't need anything, I'm going to go find some people and I'm going to go cast us a restoration on three of them. As long as I get to have a long rest before we leave, I'm, I'm, I'm doing some good Samaritan shit. When are we looking for a bit of curiosity? If you were to pick a time on the clock, when are you looking to leave? After we get the Dragonlands. What's the plan? Right, for Nard. So that in case, you know, we run into a dragon there. At 6pm. Yeah, yeah, after sundown. Oh. Well, I guess I'm not far. More than often, needs spell slots. It's gonna take us a day to get there, so we'll rest by then. Okay, we we'll, we'll rest when we get there. It, we'll rest along the way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna take um uh okay. whatever I can uh whatever can hold uh ten gallons of water and um myself and go find some. People that need some help. Okay. So, the side activity rolls are Clifton's Converts, Exodus's Excapade, Singing and Dancing Show. A anybody Any, else? Uh, anybody else wishes for some beautiful alliteration? Anybody gambling at the tavern? Fane's fuck ups. <laughs> Fane's fuck ups. <laughs> Uh anyone else? Um I'm gonna take a nap. I just turn into a cat and start napping. Lunas. <laughs> uh Luna's little rest. I don't know Ooh. what else to do. I'm not used to being in town. Luna's leisure. Yeah. Renard? Yo. You do it for the next, uh, dear God, 12, 11, 10 hours? Oh, I might grab something to eat. Um. R and R. So it's R and R and R. Renard's and rest and relaxations. There you go. So, Clifton, you are busting Let's around. Let's not do the same naming scheme with Clifton. Uh, Clifton's converts. Let's keep yeah. Let's keep it the two words. Ah, then R and R, Renard and relaxation. Is it's, it's, you it's, go it's right. a KKK joke. Oh. Clifton's spirit convert. Whoa, 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 whoa. No <laughs> KKK jokes. It's CCC. What? Clifton's spirit convents. No, just Clifton's convent. converts. Don't worry. Don't worry, it's you just walking in, looking around, doing your thing, Clifton. You know, for the day that it is, you walk around curing people of particular ailments. Some people are grievously injured, some people are very much injured. Some people are just hung over and you decide to tell them to sleep it off. As it were, uh, roll me 2d20. Okay. Also, is anybody is anybody particularly uh particularly uh um how to put it like like am I curing the blind here lesser, and there or am I huh? Is lesser re restoration you're using, yeah? Lesser restoration, any healing spells I have to just patch people up, giving out water whenever I can. Yeah. Or I was having a station with some water. And yeah. Is so, it well, there are a few people here that you see Cast this three times, yeah? Yep. 
Yeah. Let me go ahead and cast it. That's right. Uh, it's burn off the spell slots. And okay. make a religion check with advantage. Okay. Religion with advantage. That's one. Oh! 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 oh. In the culture here, people are actually allergic to water. <laughs> uh, you go around, you know, giving all the people up. This, you know, holy power. There are people who don't quite believe it. People have like ringing in their ear who try to hype it up and, you know, you give them a little touch here and there. And there's one woman older you can see. She's very clearly done a lot with her time and a valued member of society. And as you look at her, you feel that, you know, she has more to offer. If only she could see the good she's doing. As you kind of sit her down and place your hands on her head and do the thing, everyone in the room watches as the milky white eyes of her start to dissipate, to turn back to blue as you watch as she's kind of blinking and as she does you watch as the eyes start to shimmer. And as they do, you can tell that she is seeing you and seeing everything. She has not seen in a very long time. Watching she's kind of falls to her knees crying. She has never seen as much as she's seen in such vibrance before. You can tell that your work here, people believe that the gods are coming, that they are back, that things will get better. All because you did better. As it were, you also happen to make yourself a tasty 21 gold pieces. Oh, I, I don't know if I should accept that, but it's going in. I want to make money. So, I don't know if I can accept this. Like, what, what kind of people are giving me this? Just, right, it's like accumulation of older people, younger people, middle-aged people, it's all manner. Some people are giving it because they feel it's like some sort of little magic trick that raises spirits at first, but once they watch it actually happen, it's no longer magic tricks. It is in fact divine intervention. I refuse to take their money when they offer it to me. Okay. I'm just gonna take you know, he refuse their money. They all very much, you know they fight with you to take this money back. You know, it's it's yours. You you've earned it. You've done a service to the community that no one thought possible. Oh, so it's like, oh I couldn't oh I insist. Okay, um you said twenty one? Yeah. Mm. I'm not going to insult them, but, you know, I'll take it, I'll add it to my sheet, Aye. but I won't be happy about it. <laughs> what I want to do is, what, what can I do here? Turn on the rations and give it to the people. Oh, I do have some rations. I, it's, it's, it's shit food, but it's something. Um. I'm gonna make sure it comes off of my account. So I had 15 before any of this was added. I'm not gonna burn your rations, Fane. Um, I'm gonna distribute. Um, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna distribute uh three of them the best I can. And I want to. Oh, Clifton Christ, superstar. <laughs> what else can I do? What about the shit? 
Oh, uh, I'm running out of shit that I can do. Yeah, you know, fuck it, just the rations. I'm, I'm breaking bread with them. Breaking hard times. <laughs> Five bread and two fish, right? No. <laughs> fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at the fucking general chat! General? <laughs> I got a cramp, I got a cramp! Please. Uh, hold on, I can't. I, I'm walking around. I laugh too hard. <laughs> My side. Ah, oh, Clifton, as you do all this, you see the woman, Nefra. She does. She kind of moves up and places a hand on your shoulder. She does. Come with me. Please. Oh, oh, oh okay. I'll Let's follow her. Follow her. Let's see. Next up is Exodus's escapades as he is singing and dancing. Exodus, can I have DOS charisma checks and an insight check, please? A charisma an specifically performance. Uh, two per what was this? Two performance and an insight. Two performance? Alright. First one, right, this is going to be a plus six total, so another plus three. Or actually, can I just click the performance thing? Oh, I can do that temporarily. That's neat. One, two. Oh my god. What the oh. fuck? Two uh, that twenties. Like... Throwing out my yacht for oh the Rizzler. <laughs> and an insight? And then an insight. As you oh. stand in here, pelting your heart out, sober as a stone, you feel that you are doing excellent. Amazing. At one point, you even stand there, strutting across the bar. I'm beautiful in a way, because Paladine has made no mistakes. And you feel you are right in it. But as you look round, it's hard... Maybe it's a tough audience. Some people kind of vibing with it. Some people kind of trying to block you out. It's odd, but people are enjoying it. Some more than others. Oh, you fucking not doing it, Jesus Christ. Right, you're a hard crowd, but you know what? I'm working with it. And you know what, too? The fact that no one's giving me money, I just even sing even harder. Not because... I was going to say roll 2d20. No, no, oh, I was gonna say not because I want them to give me money, but because these people seem like they really need happiness. But you said roll 2d20? 2d20. 2d20. Let's go. 21. <laughs> you two make 21 gold. 21? Yeah, anyway. Oh, yeah. Uh, how much is a, a drink here? Like, one silver. One silver. How many people are here? How much would it take to buy a round for everyone? Just a call it two gold. Thanks. Two gold. I'll I'll spend the two gold as a round of thanks for everyone, and you know before I head on out. Finn, who is not here because he's doing things, said that he back in time gambling five hundred gold pieces only if it can be matched. It can be matched. Let's play some fun and games here. Um, let's be fun. Someone roll me a deception check. I, I don't okay, care. I'll do it. I got you. Deception check? Just my deception or anyone's? Just uh, deception for any sheet that you have, but since John's here, deception from you specifically. I want to see if I can take the, uh, the image of uh, Clifton's thing on my sheet and like put a Mother Teresa convent uh Put over it. So you want me to roll from John's sheet? No, roll from your own, because you're because John's here. Oh baby. Yeah. Roll a second deception. Alright. So eighteen by twelve. And then an insight. Yep. 
Oh, that's poor boy. Let's see. Eight, six. Oh, bro, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> They're both like you're full of shit. No, you're full of shit. Yeah, but you're full of shit harder. Uh, so Fane loses two hundred and fifty gold. So I Damn. need seven six five. Damn, I four. thought you lost five hundred gold. He was able to fold on the last one, Nat twenty in the insight. Yes, yeah, that's, that's true. Oh, man, he was that's... able to fold on that one, so loss. You got to know when to hold on. No where no for the No way to walk away. away. No way to run. Way to run. <laughs> We're adults. <laughs> <laughs> um Oh, just one one. No no, it's a very where are you sleeping first and foremost? That's gonna that's gonna give us an idea. Did you go back to the uh you know, did you go back to the bar or do you just find a nice quiet place in Hearts Hollow to sleep? I just found a a nice cozy spot where it's dry. Yeah. Ooh. I'm also like while I'm asleep, my ears start to shrink and my face turns a little bit more tan. I'm I'm in more a human ship. Less elfish. Give me survival and then just straight intelligence. Come on to fuck! <laughs> There's something in the water tonight. There's something in the water. That's what? Nine, one, two, nine, three, four, five nat twenties. Five nat twenties in five minutes. In 12 minutes, 5 nat 20s, that's almost a nat 20 every 2 minutes. And the you know what, I'm going to consider this good karma for for, 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 for Clifton's act on the whole party. This sucks yeah. that this isn't combat because we would have wiped the floor with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I was just about to say the fact that we each got a natural 20 during our, hey, what are we going to do like off the beat like 20 minutes? Nothing. <laughs> you know, like just like while we're chilling before we go on an epic adventure. For yourself, there. This is but... our message to be our authentic self at all times in the party, or in the game. For yourself, there, Luna. Uh, it's a very nice, peaceful sleep. Your instincts manage to find you a nice place that's very much safe, well protected, and well guarded. And for it, it's a nice, easy sleep. Not too warm, not too cold. You just you know wake up, take five minutes to yourself in the shop, and then decide, fuck it, come back to sleep. You spend most of the day asleep, but it's a very well rested sleep. You actually wake up later on that evening, ready and raring to go. Finally, we come to Bernard. Last but not least, as you've been walking round. Taking in the sights, taking in the area. You've been here a while, but nothing seems to be too. Nothing seems to be too off. Granted, there is a lot of guard walking around now, but, you know, everyone's friendly, everyone's happy. There doesn't seem to be any issues as what's going on. Is there anything you wish to specifically be doing or have been doing during your rest and relaxations? Um. <clears throat> Hello. Out of place, not knowing what's anything about Hearts Hollow since I haven't been here in the last three weeks. But uh, no, you are just okay. Neither do I. Just kind of you know walking around, seeing kind of look at my keeping my eye out for anything that seems out of the ordinary, odd people acting weird, suspicious uh, activities. Yeah, okay, yeah. Give me perception and survival. Oh, I'm gonna roll two nat 20s, you know it. I'm honestly, I'm hoping for it. 
attributes, perception. Oh, it's a natural 18. And survival. Combo Ooh. breaker. Here. What was the combo breaker? John, natural 18 and a 4. You look around. Oh. Yeah. The place is quiet and peaceful, happy. People seem to regard you as such. You regard them. You do, you know, hear the odd flappings and see large shadows pass over. As you look up, the sun in your eyes and every breath lingering just a bit longer than normal. Is that Dragon L? Dragon? I feel scared. It's something, but you can't quite put finger on it. For the most part, however, everyone seems to have no issue with your presence. The fact that there's actually a bit of a guard presence puts people more at ease. So where are we going to do a small time skip to about an hour beforehand as Clifton's been doing all his nomade patria to feel his spirit to Santa. You know, Exodus has been singing uh, Lady Gaga. Fane has been losing a terrible hand of poker. And Just hemorrhaging gold. Luna has decided it's a good time to wake up and reacquaint with the guard. Clifton, you're taken down deeper into Hearts Hollow. Down into a very small looking building that's in the side of this particular sinkhole. I'm going to call it a sinkhole. This Ness kind of looks at you. And Nezra, sorry, it's Nezra kind of looks at you. It's my understanding that you're going to assist in freeing the captors of Hearts Hollow from his clutches. Is that correct? I I see no reason to lie to her now, now that she somehow knows that. Uh, yeah, that's me. They have I'm, an, I'm, I'm, they have an item. Hmm? a very particular item that I like. I really, really require this item. It was stolen I... from me. Yeah? Oh, go ahead. F finish up. It was stolen from me. Um, I want to insight check how, how desperate she seems about this item and Rocket. how, also how cautious, uh, she seems to be. I don't care if they're separate checks. I want to see how, 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 uh, how, um, yeah, I want to see if she's trying to play me and how much does she need this. Not for reasons you guys may think. Yeah. Yeah, you roll that insight check for me, so Oh <whistles> Narrow miss. Oh, that's fucking good numbers though. You guys get some good numbers now. You see it you're only level eight. <laughs> you see it in her eyes at first. It's desperation. She really wants this back and now that it's now you've been here a moment it's still a little bit hotter in here than it is outside a little bit hotter here than it is in the salt lick there's also no actual fireplace in here. In fact, for yourself, it's basically dim light. 
It's just a bit of light comes through the cracks in the doors. What do you, what what are, what do the walls seem to be made of? What is, what what makes stone. up the walls? Stone, as in uh, underground stone. Rough hewn stone, yes. Mm. I'd like to um. Play, uh, see if I could, there's a place for me to place my hand and kind of like lean on it as I'm as if as if I'm in thought. You gonna place your hand on the wall, you know, place that one in your head for a moment just to think. Sam, is the wall warm? Quite. And as far as seeing, it's about. Say 70 degrees Celsius warm. 70 degrees Fahrenheit warm, sorry. 70 degrees Celsius would kill you. Yeah, I'll just like to have. Uh, <laughs> Ow! Sketon! Listen, listening to anyone use Celsius kills me. <laughs> um, okay, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um. Poo. I. I want to ask her, um, how how was this item taken away from you, and why do they have it? When you see it, you'll know why they have it. It was taken in the night, whilst I was otherwise preoccupied with something else. I'm back. They, you lost 150 gold. They came in and stole it in some form of raid. It was taken about a week ago. I am unable to get it myself, but I feel you could, or rather you could you know, place a hand on your shoulder. I'll, I'll do my best to make sure I locate it and find it to you. I'll find it for you and get it located, get it back to you and find it for you. Um, Fuck's sake. I want to yeah. I want to ask her what, what, what makes her think I'd be um, able to locate this and bring it back. It's rather distinct, and therefore must be of the utmost <clears throat> secrecy between you and I. I can tell that you have a good soul, and you wouldn't try anything in regards to this. There's no reward in terms of monetary value or anything that I could give you bar the grace good of an old woman who's long outstayed her welcome. But you would be doing me <clears throat> The greatest of services. I think that alone would be a good enough reward for me. Cause I don't know, but but maybe maybe it's the blindness, maybe it's the hand on my shoulder. But she's reminded me of my grandmother. The grandmother he left behind after he healed. Go. I believe your friends will be joining up soon. Ready to make your final expedition for him. Who is him? Granted. You've done a lot of work for him. Who's doing a micro thread? Take a guess. You know what? I've already served a message, Mitt. Ha 
grant it. Your good friend. He is sending you away for a job. And I know the item that I seek is there as well. You've proven yourselves to him, and that is enough for me. Thank you. And I'm, I'm going to go back to meet up with the party. <clears throat> and when I meet with them, if anybody's paying attention, I just, I relay all of that. Um, not all, no, not all of that. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to relay that I did a lot of healing and I want to try to find something for an old lady that, you know, seems like she could use a little bit of joy, a little bit of success in her life. What? That, that I assume this is after, like, like knitting tools? Um, <laughs> she didn't specify, but she said that she seems, she said I seem to have a good heart, and Hold that on. seems to help me. She didn't tell you what you were looking for? Just that- She just said that I would know. Thing? She said what something- What the fuck? <laughs> An elderly woman was like, I'm looking for something. You will know what it is when you find it. What? Apparently it's something that somebody with a good soul could wield. And this was specific. She, she, she knows of us. And she knows that we've earned his, like, the shopkeeper's approval. But she seemed to only come to me with this after I had healed everyone and given them water. Did you heal her specifically? I cured her of blindness. You cured an old woman's blindness. Nezra wasn't blind. Oh, my bad, my bad. I, I didn't, I didn't make that. I That's didn't right. make that. Yeah, I cured. I, I didn't. I, I don't. Know, did, did I heal her at all? No. Or was she just watching it? Okay. Keep her just there. Who is Nezra again? I don't know. The woman that anyway. runs Hall. <laughs> we meet her. Yes. First time you were oh, here. Oh, I haven't met her, but you guys have. What? When you first came here, uh, Kleistron introduced us. That's why I didn't recognize There was just no I image of her. Um, I don't remember her. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna say leader, leader of, uh, leader of the, uh, Hollow. Has commissioned us, and by extension, me. To see if we can locate them. I told her I would do my best to try. Mm, Alrighty. And I guess, you know, there is no real reward, but I feel like doing a good solid for her. And uh, I, I don't particularly see uh, what's so bad about having somebody who leads a nice outpost like this on our side. Yeah, I don't trust her. <laughs> All no. right. Okay. Yeah. You got. You guys have like the chemo death experience because like you, you met her. So. Um. I do want to like relay that like she seemed very desperate about this and like extremely urgent. I say we should at least see what it is. I mean, of course we are going to see what it is, right? But at the same time, how do they know so much? I mean, I guess we everyone knows that we've been doing stuff for granted. It's just... Another thing too, I don't know if they have a lisp or they're secretly a snake, but I think it's one or the other. Like they have a lisp. Or they're secretly a snake. I always assumed that they were like a were snake. But we'll see. I'm gonna get back to uh chopping up this uh, acorn squash for dinner. Uh, for these acorn squashes. I don't know, plural. As you approach the camp together. The lights are up. I feel this is time for big drums. Big drum time. Big drum. Big time. band drums or just big drums? Big drums. And not of the big band for it. Okay. You just walk through the camp. They're kicking in now. As the sconce torches are lit. People sitting down looking, enjoying their meals, enjoying air quotes. Some looking round. You hear the hammer on the forge on the anvil. The smell of iron 
steel and leather being worked together. Some people know what's going on. Some people have a rough idea. Some people are completely unaware as to what's going on. You see dwarves have worked all through the day, quenching, hammering, shaping, working this thing into whatever it is. Approach. You see the steam. You see the smoke. The dwarf. Here's a nod. Very subtle one. As he does, hands you over this rather long stick, if you will, covered with a cloth. As he kind of holds it up, as you see the smoke just kind of pouring down from it. You ready for this? I'm ready. To see the craftsmanship that you put into this item. Places it in your hand. Grabs the sort of fabric that's over it and as he does, rips it down. You see this extremely long blade and silver with intricate gold and almost a turquoise blue. I have posted a nice beautiful looking image generated by AI in the Discord chat. Hey yo! Yeah, let the AI cook! Oh, that's pretty cool. Let him cook! Is he? I, I haven't seen him yet, but I'm just saying it. Looks at ya. It's gonna take an hour to get used to it. Once you're used to it, let me know if it works as intended. Or if. Well. It does something else. We'll add a. Well. There you go. Doesn't work as intended. I may need. Uh, you may never see me again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. That's some very. I have a question. Of course. Oh, when when did, when was the Dragon Lance campaign first conceived? Of? Like, what edition? What year, if you can? AD&D, nineteen eighty-three, I believe. Yeah, Christopher Howling, you most definitely had inspiration from this shit. It's like eighty-three or eighty-four, um, and it was the Dragon Lance campaign that came first, I believe. And then the people that wrote the game, the story for the game, had their own home game and then turned that into the books. And then there was a few other additional books that were brought out that may or may not have been as good, I can't quite say, as I'm only halfway through book two. And all I will say right now is I fucking nailed gnomes. <laughs> Erratic gnomes. Nailed that shit. You've so, done what to gnomes? <laughs> so, ah, uh, Dragonlance is a particular thing, but I'm just editing it this way right now. It is a two handed weapon. It has reach. It is heavy. Um. Oh, pike. Yep, okay. It's technically a pike. And. Requires attunement, does some stuff. Don't worry about that right now. Right, as you start holding. My back teeth are swimming you, Summer. 
you start holding the dragon lance, kind of feeling it around. This long, powerful, heavy item is extremely light, nimble. It does. You can see these small wisps coming off, it, almost like the smoke of a dragon's breath. You smell the iron and it, the steel forged in fire for one goal to slay dragons. It's the gnome. <coughs> see, sorry, gnome. Who <laughs> is the dwarf? Looks at you. An item. Cross me. Yeah. You first. I was just going to say, I tell, I tell the dwarf, craftsmanship is incredible. Knowledge what? passed down and found, lost, and reborn. A weapon not yet seen since the cataclysm brought forth today. Use it. Use it well. And if you have any, any issues with it, remember, we tried. <laughs> not hard, it's not easy to recreate this particular power. But when we do get to work, maybe we'll craft a few more for the army. Well, they, they may be needed, I'm sure. What can I, what do I owe you? What can I pay you for this? Yeah, just looks at you, shaking his head. Kill a dragon. Bring uh, me its head. Woo! Generous. Um, that's a deal. Deal. Yeah. Puts his hand out to clasp into yours to shake. Oh, there's more like, you know, this. Be careful. I don't want to have crafted this weapon for no good reason. Well, I will. Thank you. And go forth. We get a job to do. That we do. Anyone else got any additional business they wish to take care of here in Hearts Hall or the camp before we head out into the northern wastes? Can I be really mean? Can I be really mean and ask for a quick deal? The art. I had to deal with something and I shown out about half the information. Just like a quick <laughs> of what happened in the last hour. Um, anything not working. We got a dragon lance. That's it. We got dragon lance, and uh, Clifton got a quest to bring back an item, but he doesn't know what it is. But when he sees it, he'll know what it is. <laughs> Find a cool item. We got a cool, cool pokey stick. All right, got it's it. That building down there on the left, not out the corner, but a little bit up a few buildings behind. Don't worry, you. You ain't talking I to us. The, the woman might kind of be a, a snake. How are we for time? I have all the time in the world. I'm good. But, yeah. I'm good for now. Then, what the two Adam, you did. As you head off into the northern wastes, I require a d10. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Wait, no, I always roll so we don't have to do anything. Somebody else rolls. Right, you're right. You're six. Six. That's another five. Also, I think that's also a do nothing roll. I think it's five it's, and six, I do nothing. Just head on out into the northern waste. It's wet, cold. There are small patches of ice around. Your breath lingers on. And you just trudge forth out into the wastes. Can I have a d20, please? Of course you can. Motherfucker! It's you. <laughs> Head on out. Can I have a D4, please? I'll let you have this one. <laughs> yeah, give me all the low dice. You move through. All these little winding paths. 
<clears throat> Is this the right one? Yes. You see a small burning light. Could everybody please tell me what their passive perception is? Uh huh. Good one. Passive perception is a 17. Melano is Mod my Is Melano coming with us, by the way? Yeah, it's she's with 10, right? Mine, mine's the default base. What is it, 10 or 8? Um, passive cool. perception is based off of your. Uh, passive stealth is based off of your. Oh, yeah. Sorry, passive perception. Oh, yeah. I got a 15 oh, for passive no, I see it. I see in the. I got a 12. Ten. Mine's 10. So Renard, uh, I've got to unmute RJ, hopefully he's done giving directions. Uh, so Renard, you got a what? 12. Oh, I, I, I was I was making a joke about about like not knowing when you see it to you guys. See, we heard we heard you, uh, uh, when I unmuted you, I heard it sounded like you were giving someone directions, and I'm like, alright, he's busy. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, like, like, like well, I, I, you didn't get to hear the full thing. Like I have responded like to um to like because like um you said something about, like you know when you see it, and I just launched into that like I was giving some my directions, but very unclear ones. Let's see, uh, Ruby, your passive perception was seventeen. You said. Uh, yes. Was mine that thing that with the eye next to it? Yes. Seventeen. Here's my thing. And what's Melano's? I got a 15 for passive perception. 13 for Melano. And Exodus passive perception for you was? Sorry, what was that? I was standing up. My passive's 10. 10. Okay. Ben. Let's use our passing through this particular area, you hear a screech, a deafening screech, and as it were, these are all stunned for a moment. You come to this area, fucking wild shapes, man. Sorry. Yeah, can you not just like, I, delete them or stop like uh, like either delete them no, or stop I, importing I, them because you've imported five fucking polar so the, bears. the issue is I can make them but I can't remove them so ah. what it does it makes a new token for me but I don't have permission to remove it once I revert it cool. uh, I'll get that sorted for you next time yeah. ladies and gentlemen as it were the first time tonight roll an issue oh god mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I do that again? I forgot. It's been too long. <laughs> <laughs> the following people are surprised. Everyone who's not being played by Ruby. No, but no. <laughs> Clifton. Clifton is not surprised, and Ruby is not surprised. Um, Luna isn't. Melano is. Yeah, Melano is. Uh, anyone with a 17 or higher is Gucci. Okay, nice. so... Uh, All right, let's focus back Dude, up. Oh shit. my god! I actually did forget how to. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god! It's the Bionicles. <laughs> Been a little while since I've uh, I, I I was playing as a player, and you can tell because the role there, all of them were completely just standard. And that's you can tell I was playing as a player. Now, let's um, let's enjoy some of that. Brand new combat music. Ooh, here it comes. I'm all. I have it turned up actually. Like, I want. You, I want you to know. I have a plane. So, as things are about Ooh. to progress, Luna being first in initiative, you do get to go against. You see down this crevice, two men in full plated armor, standing there. Kind of weapons drawn, you hear the noises and you look around, you see flanking you on each side are two odd winged creatures. You may have seen them before. What is the drop like to the uh, oh. Um it goes from about five foot to like twenty foot. It's very much like the mouth of a small cave. Yeah, so it's like twenty from from here down it's twenty foot. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna move over here. Yep. Just kind of, kind of tiptoeing around the edge, almost, almost dancing on the edge. 
uh, with, a, with a little bit of like joy in her step because she gets to, to fight some uh, annoying dragons. Aren't these the guys that hold slaves as well? Is that this group? Who knows? But is, is it like, like, because we the, the quest said like, hey, the dragon army is holding people. Like, would I be able to identify like, hey, these are a dragon army? These are these are dragon army. You know they are dragon army. Uh, whether or not yeah. it's that particular sect of dragon army, however, different story. Ah, uh, close enough. Uh, she sees that they're very armored, so she's gonna say, she she kind of like thinks to herself like, I don't think I can hit these guys the best. I have an idea, and she reaches her hand up towards the uh, the dark clouds. You know, the moon and channels it and pulls down her fist and channels the light of the moon towards the closest guy. Uh, uh We're going in hard this time. Bop. Moonbeam level four. Constitution saving throw. On uh, his turn. Go. Yep. Um, well, I mean, he's up next, so... You know, whether yeah. I do it now or later, it gets done now. So yeah, do it now. It's your turn. I'm just gonna bring it down onto him. Uh, no. I think that that's it for now. I'm gonna hold off on wild shape for now. Then uh, he saves. Only just half, dam half damage. And what Radiant else? Damage, yep. Uh, straight human. Uh, so let's see, da -da 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 -da, 2d10, that was actually nearly good damage as well, 2d10, oh wait, never mind, that was horrible. <laughs> um, so, uh, and he can just like, yeah, so it doesn't stop him. Oh yeah, everything's in inches, I do apologise, it's one of those maps, let me fix that to foot right now. There we go. The... Oh, apparently that makes a difference, who knew? Wait, does it make a difference for my movement? No. So he kind of runs out and as he does, pulls his giant crossbow out. As he does, will fire twice upon yourself for that one there. It's uh, 18 and a 10. On. You. Yeah. Oh, uh, 18 and a 10, both miss. 17, or uh, 18 is she. So an 18 hits then, meets a beats it. Oh. God fucking numbers, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so you take uh, 6 piercing and 4 fire damage for a total of 10. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that again, this is part of like, the same one, so whether you fail you still save. Just because, um, so yeah, you still save, don't worry, but we'll remember concentrating just by right clicking and smashing a little con on you there. We then skip over everyone, we get to this guy here, because surprise motherfucker. Uh, as it were. Let's see. Oh, that's fucking nasty good shit. This boy will fly on down as he does the wings. <laughs> unfurl as he comes down your back just in time. He does. He takes his dagger and he just stabs twice towards Fane. That's a 22 and a 15 on fame. Uh, on fame, 15 misses, 22 hits for a total of... Fame, what's your, what you like with poison damage? Asking for my friend. You're also muted. Oh, oops. Um, I, to be honest, I wouldn't like to take that damage at all. I'm going to parry it. Okay, yeah, I think you need to roll a d6 on that one there to see if you can do that. I if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's a d6. That's a 2d6. Fuck! To parry, uh, when another creature damages you with a melee attack, you can use a reaction to expend one superiority die to reduce the damage by the number rolled superiority die plus dex mod. So, you basically need to roll your singular d6. I gotcha. Four. Seven. 
Okay. And then there is something about health. But I don't think you get that yet because No, that's just pure body. I believe what I reduce the damage by. Yeah, but the thing for poison damage, you still take that because you don't have purity of body, so that's a total of 12, 13, 14, 10 overall damage with no additional resistances. Okay, I got you. We then move over to our second army officer, who in running in takes a look at Exodus. And he's like, oh my yeah. goodness, Wait a minute. what's going on here? Did we go through like the whole first round? Surprise round. Travelling fast, so you get a negative yeah, but five. I wasn't surprised. No, you were. I, I, I rolled a 17 just like uh, Rose. You're fucking right, you did. Uh, that's on me. Uh, super apologies, sir. Move you back. There we go. That's on me, sir. Alright, we're heading back to my computer. Slow down! Uh, I was tripped and fell. That would have been the end of me. Okay. Um. funny, though. <laughs> Neat. Uh, I can't see. So, um, how? Well, Luna already said that the drop down was uh 20, 20 feet. Yep. All right. Um. Fuck it, bonsai. That's like where Luna is. It's like twenty foot where you are. It's just a step. Is it like a pet that like gets deep quick? But you're on the cusp of that pit. So yeah, so you're fine. So if I go one more step? You're still fine. You just basically like walk down like what is essentially like three stairs. Okay. So you're okay, fine. Okay, okay. Alright, cool. Yeah, I get four uses of this shit. Um, bonus action. Pull a long sword up in the air like I just don't care. It don't do shit that turn, but it's in the air. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, is there like a, like a line I can do? Can you draw a line? No, that's don't not worry, well. don't worry, uh, I got you. Okay. Um, hold on, it's like the stupid, that's the stupid shit. Go, go back. Stop that. Oh god, never mind, no, never mind. Um, I'm gonna go here. Yep. And it's the first time I get to use this. This is gonna be fun. Uh, oh shit! Hold on. Uh, so it starts here, and how do I rotate? Fuck it. Don't worry. I got you. I thought it was rotate as I clicked. Uh, it's a sh control and then scroll wheel. I want to see if I can have both of them. Uh, but probably not. Oh, yes. yeah. 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 Right there. So, that is... Damn, son. He do the dodgy dodge. And he do the dodgy dodge. Uh, this guy straight fails. This guy here... Passes. And that will be my turn. I'm just quick drawing the draw right now. Let me burn off the use of a... Wait, hold on. Is the dancing sword like four, four, four per long rest? Yeah. You can use it four okay. times and then it, it drops down. Oh, that's what that means. Okay. This okay. guy. So yeah, that is that is it. Will now come up to here, having seen you do that. Gonna run, jump up, crossbow in one hand. Will fire both towards yourself. Ah, uh, um. so that can't do shit right now, but he will fire both of these off towards yourself. Uh, both of them miss. Yeah, your AC is 20. 6 and 19 both miss. We move Thank over to our Casper. final Draconian. He flies down. You skipped me. Yeah, because you're surprised. Fuck! I thought we were, that was over it. Nope, saw that right. This counter oh, flies there. down with his wings once more. As he does, he's gonna stab into your back there. As he does, just pushes for 21 for six, plus how are you with poison damage? Asking for my friend. 
Oh, uh, no, the normal. Uh, I'm gonna show for your barb stat. Are you are you talking to me or, or... no? No, no. Okay. Twelve. That's all right. Uh, he's then just gonna kind of look at you, and as he does, I need a anti grapple type check, please. As he just <laughs> pushes you. Oh God. Eleven. Bye. Natural uh, natural nineteen. No, uh, hold on. Uh, did you do? I chose myself for advent next roll. Natural nineteen. <laughs> Woo! And you take seven bludgeoning damage. Got you there. Bim bang and con save. Oh, it's already bim bang. Cool. We then move over to yourself. Fallen. Boom. Um. Give me a dexterity check to be safe. Save. Dexterity save, sorry. You're good. Uh, b -b 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 moonbeam is an action to. Yeah. So I'm gonna move the moonbeam in the middle of these two fellas. That's my action. Uh. How high is the step up, like directly south of me? Uh. I'll say that's it's, about five foot there. Oh, I could, with like a running walk, I could get over it. Yeah, like a, a run, like a run and a skip, like jump, you know, not like an actual full, but you know, it just requires a bit of a stride. Yeah, so I would be like, I, no, oh, there's a, there's a wall there. Yeah, don't worry. I, I would want yep, like, like, to jump over. directly south here. Did it, did it, hoop, doo doo. Uh, um. Anybody been hurt? Fane, but like, do we really care about him? Yeah, I give myself <laughs> a uh, a first level healing word. All right. Healing word is fuck. I will. Yeah, I'll let you throw out on yourself because you are competent enough in that one to do it quicker than me. Nine times out of ten. Yes. Uh, did anyone else your turn? Nope. This guy here got to make a con save, Brett. Yes. Con and that is 4d10. 4d10 halved. Uh, so that is 14 damage. Fourteen run it down. Woo. I thought I could get the thing to do it, but nope, bang bang. Okay. And what's range like? Oh his range is good for that. Ah. Yeah, sorry not sorry as he drops the Crossbow, as he does. Uh, yeah. Oh, even better. Really? Give me a sec. Check something. It doesn't see otherwise. He takes his large ass lance and he just immediately starts spinning to attack you. What the fuck? I don't know what that is. And he will smack you twice with it. Uh, 11, 16, both miss. I'm pulling away to see your AC and I've moved it over to this other side for a reason. Renard. John, you're made to turn him up. Yep. Um, uh. Well, I'm gonna dash in here where I can actually see stuff. Why not dash, dash actually? You're gonna jump into the fray. Jump into the fray. Let's go, go down here. That's in the moonbeam. That's me again. Oh. And it's. He knows what it is. You know, you know that there's a beam there. I. Mm -hmm. Let's go there. Yes. Back this guy here. Yeah. Well, we gotta do gotta do the features. Precise strike for that advantage plus one d eight on the hit. Yeah, that's it. What? <laughs> Guys, don't be alarmed, but I think RJ is setting a bomb. <laughs> plus one d eight. Up with artificial build. 
Yep. Well, blue okay. artificers, gnomes would be good artificers in this. So you do 26, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 total damage, which is nice. Did it announce your turn? I think I missed the second one. Yeah, you missed the second one. Uh, AC is a lot higher than 13. But 14 plus 3, there's no safer than necrotic. That's 17 plus 3 for your precise strike. 20. Did I know you That's it. No, no. Alright, I've been thinking about this. I haven't been thinking about this because I'm stupid. I am. Um... I could have told you that. Thanks. Anytime. Uh, <laughs> okay, they're very spread out, so she can't do too much because she has a lot of AOE stuff. Um. Hmm. Gonna take some distance just to be sure. The what what color are these dragons kind of creatures? Copper. Copper? So they're 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 reddish. Well, brass maybe. There's there's the exact oh. image from the book. Yeah, yeah. So they Oh yeah, that's that's copper. Um I don't know if copper's resist would Melano be able to re like know which resistance uh Copper creatures have for for something called Dragonlance. Dragons are they've been seen in like three hundred years. But they have dragonborn. Mm, not a race. And... Along with God's healing Dra energy. Dragonborn are not a race in this campaign. Set. Okay, so she so. wouldn't know. Good because I don't know. <laughs> uh, I like using innate cast. She is gonna target the. Um... The, the one closest to her and Can't pass, yeah. shoot a guiding bolt. 19 for 14 will hit. Are you? Yes. Going um, and it. that's, that's all she can do. Yeah. <laughs> well, he ain't happy about that one there. Not at all. <laughs> so. In his stupid fit of rage, he's just going to run forward. As he does, little dagger in hand. As he does, he will make DOS attack against yourself with that one there. It's a 21 for 6 piercing and 5 damage, total of 11 on Melano. No up attack for. Fine. He had a chance to take it and he didn't. Clifton! Oh, RJ's typing. Ah, here it comes. Hi, hello. Hi, you're up. Oh. Yeah, never, never trying to click desperately with my non-dominant hand again. Oh, okay, cool. I had to take a moment to do something on my head. Moving out of the way. Time for me to shine. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Long's uh, dancing sword. I guess that's it right there. Yep. Um, it's gonna move. And it's just gonna move in the moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight. <laughs> I call this weapon attack the stream. So you're moving it okay. uh, like here? Yeah, right there. Okay. And it's going to attack with this bonus action. As it does, let me go ahead and put it off for you. 17 for 9 messes. Damn. Well, if you want something done right, I am going to go up to him. This, what is this? That's 15. Can I go? I, I, I don't know if I can move into the same space as the, uh, as the, um, sword. I will love it. Not, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's gonna stay right out of the big circle that seemed to have burned them. Well, does I'll move the weapon, because this is still technically within its 30 foot of range, so I'll just move it off to the side. Alright, good. I'm gonna walk up and, like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm aware this is probably gonna, you know, put me in the circle. I'm gonna, you know, pat him real quick. Hmm? Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just just reach out and touch him real quick. Or, or, better yet, I can smack him with my shield. And reach out this. and touch face. Well, I'm not gonna insult you with that one there. Yeah. But you know, you get a look. Mm, maybe yes, no, yes, no, yep. Yeah. Spell fizzles. 
I, I went to smack him with the I went to smack him with the shield as I charged it up and then just went out. Indecision cost you. Did it answer your turn? That, that that'll be nothing. That'll be it. We are on the con save here. And what was it? Twenty nine to fourteen. So it was save and throw. Twenty nine damage was what was done. Yep. He will take his lance, and he does. He will. I've got plus eight, plus one. So spins it, stabs forward, and immediately swings it backwards. Renard one, Clifton two. Renard one, 23. Clifton 19. Mrs. Clifton hits Renard for 14. Oh, then immediately screams, KILL THEM! As it does the one standing in front of you, Luna immediately takes its lance and just poof, right into your face. 16 for 7 will miss, however. Exodus. Like, yo, that was my line! And then you would fucking grab his um, amulet of Shakira Nene's. No, 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 no. And you would. Little, uh, little, 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 little. And he pops it. Oh yeah, he's going for it. He's burning 60 feet. Gets gets here. Let me see. I'm gonna finagle some movement because I'm a little bit of a bitch. Yeah, 30 feet here. Wait, no, that would get me. In. Yeah. That would get you what? I assume with intact radius, right? Because I was oh, like, yeah, that right was here. Like I thought I'm cornered with the, uh, oh. the dragon dude, so I'm not gonna move there. I'm gonna go. Yeah around him yep. which i really like this feature um so 30 feet yeah and then 40 feet yep now i'm gonna hit him first mm -hmm. with the bloodshed short short which has become my sure, sure. what's it called weapon uh my, my yeah my hex play weapons i can use my charisma but i'm not sure if it's set up that way i don't think I, it is but give me a little second it's set for dexterity it's now set for res thank you my my riz attack all right and now i'm going to commit crimes against riz as you know what let's Rock see shock it. robot all right and i'm also booming blading this one you know how it is yes that does not nope but good thing I got the uh, the bell nasty. I'm gonna make a quick attack with my bonus action. Mess. I fucking suck. <laughs> 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 and I'm gonna I'm gonna back up. Yep. That's my turn. Kill. Bear back. I'm so written for you there. I know, right? Me too. The Kapak here takes a run as he does the wings unfurl as he comes off the edge and glides over towards yourself there. Rard, as he does, it takes his little dagger spinning, Scooby Doo laughing. He you know, sticks one in your back. See, 22 for 9. I mean, like, he's at his little belt and takes another one and throws it towards yourself, Ruby. 14 for 4 misses. Fane. Fane, okay. The fuck? Don't mind that, that's the yeah, That's, uh, okay. Okay. We're gonna get moving with Fane. Dun, 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 dun. That's a spiritual dun, weapon dun, type dun. deal, so you gotta move one across. That's the dancing oh, little sword, yeah. Okay. So, we're gonna get this guy first. Yeah. Watcha. Watcha. 10 hits as it does. We had to get that close to do it to him, He watches his bell is rung as he clamors. He had one hit point, you've done him for 10 times as max. Uh, I'm gonna move to this guy next over here. Okay. Later we're going up. to action. We're gonna action surge for him. 14 for 7 will miss. 
I didn't roll anything yet. Hey, Deb, you rolled a 14 for 7. You're I'm, gonna I'm, okay. I'm moving <laughs> your next attack over. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to action surge and that. 21 for 9. And that. 16 for 7, yep. And he takes all that. He takes nine and seven, yes. So that's uh, sixteen. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Thirty damage. Any particular damage on those punches? Uh, we'll do lightning. And from the face of this earth, he goes. Did I announce your turn? Nope. That's it. Well, no. Hmm. That's a lot of paste. Yeah. Uh, it had 39 hit points. I got hit for 30. That's a master skill issue. Uh, I think I'm gonna drag... No, that's not what I want to do. I'm gonna drag my moonbeam next to me again. You're gonna uh, drag it? Action. And as... Do I have a bonus action I wanna use? Um... I... <coughs> mm. I am thinking... But a lot of things in its heart, but I think I'm gonna call it there. Nothing else for your turn? Mm. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna risk it. Well, you're gonna take it. And it's a mess. Didn't he already use his reaction to hit me on the guys' call? Previous round. Previous round? Was it yeah. this round? Oh. Nope, previous round. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? You sure? Positive. Okay. Well, it measured anyway. Come save. The first one was a surprise round. No, no. He walked up to me, hit me, and then the other guy did like a stab forward, stab backwards, and then the same guy tried to attack me again. <laughs> Like on a shout, which I think was like some like commanding strike type there deal. There was Renard, there was the guy, there was two daggers from a cat pack. Yeah, either way it misses. So don't yeah. worry about that. Uh... Yeah, no, that's a nat one. Hey, 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 hey. Did else your turn? It's me. Uh, that's Renard. your turn. Yeah, do you do anything else? Oi. I can't see anything. Have you considered opening your eyes? I have. Is it working? I don't see anything. <laughs> I don't see anything in this circle of light. <clears throat> One would have to potentially spark a torch then. One would have to. Alright, I'm gonna have to light a torch and um, fight without a shield, I guess. Well, uh, was something. It was my turn, I would have had you, I'm sorry. Alright, uh, I'm gonna put that there. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna crack a shield torch. The torch has been cracked, so. Look at the enemies. I'm scared. I don't see any. You can see one on your periphery. Oh, you. No, you can't. Shit. <laughs> there is one on your periphery. Periphery. Over about here that I will say that you can see with your passive. Oh. Who left Melon no by herself? Well, Who left Melon in by herself? Yes, got reach with the dragon wings. You do indeed. 
Well, let's still do the that. And just misses. Oh some fucking good damage though that was. That hits. You know, bring forth and it hurts you. You hear him scream. He was not expecting to be stabbed in the back. Did anyone else return? Um, no, that's it. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Good question. Yeah. What can I do? Um. I think mind sliver. Main sliver and. Uh, touch of mind whip, I think. That's a third level spell, though. Second level. Oh, yeah. That's a leveled spell. Why wouldn't I be able to do that? Oh, no, I'm just, you know, saying that's a leveled spell. That's all. Like, he's low HP. I'm just saying it's a leveled spell. But I'm also forgetting that there's a long rest to come after this, and that I'm pretty fucking slow. Yeah. Tasha's mind whip. He saves, he takes half damage. Half John DiMaggio. Did it know, sweetheart? Uh, uh, he doesn't seem to be as affected by it. So... No, he saved. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like, from a character POV, oh, yeah. he doesn't seem affected by it, so he probably still has a reaction. So I can't walk away. So, no. Ho, 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 ho. This was shit gets fun because even moving is now two opportunity of attacks, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, shit. Shit on a stick. Uh, it's gonna stab forth towards Melano and kind of throw one at his back towards Renard to see if he hits. So, Melano, Renard, Melano 14, 14 misses. Clifton. Yeah. Just in time. Um, okay, time for me to run in and steal the kill. Um, be because it's it's really not going to serve any normal purpose. Like, this is battle. I'm going to grab the longsword out of the air and yeah. the fucking floaty thing. Mm hmm And I'm going to move on over. To the east side? To the east side, we're fine. To the deluxe apartment in the sky. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, try this one more time. One more. Or do I do something different? No, no, we're gonna try one more time. I'm gonna smack him with the flat of my blade and say, What have you, sir? And add a plus one to that. Plus one? Oh, yeah, you think. As you yeah, whack him, as he does, he kind of. Looks at you. Unhand me, you know. I need <clears throat> dexterity saving throws, please, from mm. Melano and Clifton. I'll take. The, uh, I'm, I'm gonna. Can I try to take the brunt of this this attack? It's just as it falls and blows up into acid. Okay, okay, okay. But can I? Can I? Cast guidance. No, I can't. Okay, well, let me just roll dex. Guidance is ability checks. Yeah. Uh, so I'll see. Oh. Ah, I know. I was almost making a joke. Okay, um, so Melano takes three damage from acid. Clefton takes no damage of acid. God. And I will do a quick save to narrow mind, so I thought it was going to do something else, but it won't. Alright, uh, Melano, come here. Somebody yeah, bring yes. Melano, please. Hello? Um, how, 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 how much, okay, Melano got that. So, Melano is going to get a, uh... <sighs> how hurt I am? You oh yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what spell to use. Between one and eighty, I'm at, at like a sixty-six. You know, one and eighty or a sixty-six. Oh, that's that's pretty damn hurt. 
All it's right. Short in HP. Ooh. I. We're still not there, and we're gonna rest, right? Yeah. There will be a long rest between then. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Channel Divinity, uh, Harness Divine Power to give myself a fucking spell slot of second level, which is all I can goddamn do. Give myself a second level spell slot, and then, uh, you know what? Prayer of Healing for everyone. Um, everybody get, gather, gather around. Everybody right. gets, uh, what? <laughs> everybody gather around. This okay. Takes ten minutes, but yeah. Yeah. Time to start moving things along. I'm gonna ask one more time how we are for time. I am good for time. I gotta go check out the oven real quick. Also, Renard, I'm gonna do something for you because you are you're kind of our bread and butter. You're our saving grace. You're our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, I know you can heal yourself a lot, but I would at least like to give you this. So, at the very least, I can. Save somebody else before I have to ultimately save you from death. I'm placing that on Renard. You gotta take a long rest, which is eight hours. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna rest soon, aren't we? Yeah. So, as you just make your way along the. I just wanted to do that like before we rest and then go in for the mission. Make your way <laughs> along towards the area. You soon see off in the distance a very weird niche carved and heading. Ahead, you smell rotten fish. Motherfucker. Who the fuck is at the grocery store <laughs> checkout? Ahead, you smell rotting fish and burning flesh hanging thick in the air. A fortified camp sits atop cliffs, jutting from the centre of a muddy lake. The camp is ringed by an immense bone spur, makeshift wood between which it calls walls. The wooden palisade surrounds a camp composed of tents, huts, and a crooked watchtower. You see numerous members of the Dragon Army, of all ranks and types, passing through. The walls are about 15 foot high. Soldiers are on watch. You can ascertain from your militaristic experience, Renard, that this is more than likely an encampment with guard patrols. Mm. And okay. to stay standing here, it is early in the morning, very, very bright. I will move character sheets, fucking polar bears, and sharks. Is this before or after our long rest? This would be after your long rest. Alright. Do some things. Move use to here. Gonna play a game called What Do We See? Perfect. So, <clears throat> you see, just off in the distance, there's no larger map, so this is kind of off in the distance, a bridge, the moat of mud and water in the Fence. You can see that there is smoke climbing, the smell sickening. Would you like a week to ponder upon what to do and how to enter this particular place? Uh, hmm. Should we have already taken a long rest? Yes, take a long rest now. Right. If you guys want, I could scout ahead safely get an idea of the, the layout of the lands here <laughs> you know what I didn't realize whenever I was originally just playing this campaign a long rest to me is four hours 
long rest is four hours of sleep now, isn't it? Like, make it longer, it's always eight hours of downtime. Uh, well, I can, I can, yeah, I can, I can trance for like four hours and finish a, and get the benefits of a long rest. But, um, I think, I think we do maybe take a week. Uh, I do make a plan, you know, scout out, message the group chat. Also, it's like seven. For me, I'm sure it's later for much later for other people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, twenty past. 20. Twenty past one, what, uh, twelve for me. Twenty past one for Ruby. And as well, I was kind of asking time. We did start about a little later than normal. I'm, Hello? I'm. I woke up before. Like I woke up just before this game, so I am vibing to go the whole night. Here is the exact information, and I will paste it here in Discord as well. <clears throat> As it were, if we are taking a week more than happily, gives us yeah. time, we can run it. Uh, how's schedule looking for you on uh, Monday there, John? Next Monday? Yeah. Be... I'm good until... Five. You're good until 5 EST? Yes. Yeah. 